evening, everyone. I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the FNDM, and this is Cold Hard Witch. Our playthrough, our ice wind and chill through, I should say, of the Rime of the Frost Maiden module by Dungeons and Dragons, brought to you by Lawful Stupid RPG. Joining us tonight around the campfire is none other than Buddy playing Xander, the blade singing wizard. Lee playing Herrick, the cleric. Nathan playing the professor, a warlock of the old ones. Amy playing a Feriel, our deranger, our drogue. Deranger? That's deranged. All right. So, uh, uh, and of course, Madeline, who plays Zolvana, will be joining us later tonight in the session. And last but never least in my heart, Rodney playing Flynn, I've got an idea, the fighter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, let's go ahead and jump right in. So, quick recap, friends. When we last left our intrepid adventurers, they were at the East Haven Town Hall. They were haul in, as it were. So, uh, as they had uh, discovered, having beaten the Cauldron Cavern, dis like, decapitated the hag, taken her head back to town hall, recovered the the cauldron, brought it to the town, huzzah, joy, rapture, and then they were attacked by a ghost. And upon being attacked by a ghost, the speaker of the town, Prudence Tarkwald, was then assaulted by what we believe to be who party? Sephic Calto. Sephic Calto, otherwise the known cold as hard the infamous. Cold hard killer. Cold hearted killer killer indeed so the party having seen the speaker being attacked and the town hall being infiltrated they were asked to yet again lend their aid to the town of east haven and so as the night drew in and the cold and the dark crept through the windows the party took shelter in the town hall bracing for what could be a pretty eventful night and we now no, know. No, no, no. Derek made dinner and everything's going to be fine. And what I meant was an eventful night wherein we all share stories about how we got here. All right. Yeah. I brought yeah. s'mores. <laughs> With mm. no way to make fire to cook them on. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. Perhaps the warmth of our friendship will help make those s'mores. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you guys are gonna burn the hall down. I know it. Yeah. So let us uh let us journey to the East Haven Town Hall. Yeah, I'm and... sorry, I didn't realize that that was the question, DM, whether we were gonna burn the hall down or not. I thought that was a given. Oh sorry for my my not no, being it's all right. it's, about that. It's sort of my assumption. It's like, like that's the foundation with which I start. Like, okay, this map will probably get burned to the ground. And then from there. Wait, wait a minute. That's a different campaign where we burn shit down. This weird, <laughs> sophisticated people here. No. Hey, I I'm going to be honest. It's pretty cold. Burning more things wouldn't be a terrible idea. But um... that's a dangerous precedent to set. <laughs> well, and that doesn't adds even light. have a fireplace. Hey, the DM said it's okay. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> DM is all for it. All right, friends. So uh, I believe when we last left the party, uh, we had set watches, wherein Feriel was going to take the first watch, Xander was taking the second watch, Flynn was on the third, and Herrick was kind of uh, on like floating watch duty. Like he'll, he'll pop he, in. he offered, yeah. Yeah, he yeah, offered yeah, yeah. To, uh, he's happy to do uh, a watch. Then when last I met. Uh, when we last we left, the professor was in the library. Yes, I will with be the candlestick up all night read my in mind. the library. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So we'll friends, head that way. Uh, so you all finish up this wonderful meal uh, from Herrick, which is just absolutely delightful. Uh, Herrick, our cleric, is actually quite the accomplished chef in his own right. Um, so given his proficiency, he's able to sort of add just a little bit more sauce to that. Um, last game, we were able to give him um, sort of a, a proficiency uh, with that and um, an added bonus should he wish to sort of pack up these treats. What are you, what are you looking to do with the leftovers, Herrick? Are there any leftovers? Yeah, he used um, the mushrooms, didn't I? To do some mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he will... Uh, 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 well, hang on, I need to, it's new. It's all new. Right, so I can make... Uh, so... With an hour of work 
Or when you finish a long rest, you can cook a number of treats equal to your proficiency bonus. Yes. These special treats will last eight hours after being made, and the creature can use a bonus action to eat one of these treats to gain a temporary hit points equal to your proficiency bonus, which is okay. currently at level two. three, a two. But two, a, two temp HP ain't nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, especially when uh, when you're uh, squishy and low, so. No, yes. don't even get me started. Our salt marsh game is yeah. like, my cat's down to six lives. It's rough. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I could also do the uh, uh, chef's treats. I could do two per long rest. Mm. And uh, these things here, where are those? Part of your short rest, you can cook special food, provided that they have ingredients and cooks utensils. Prepare enough of this food for a number of oh, creatures yes. equal to four. Oh, I can use it twice a day, so I can. Uh, it's enough creatures for four plus two, so yes. I can. So you, can, you yeah. make six treats, and they do. They heal one d eight hit points. Yes. Oh, yes. oh so, so if, when yeah. you rest, so when you rest and spend a hit dice, you get an extra one d eight. Yeah, basically, it's your version of a of a bard's song of rest. Yes. So you get to okay. help them regain an extra one d eight of hit points should they decide to eat one of those treats on a short rest. Yeah. That's why I always have a snack before I go to bed. Yeah, right. I say intermittent snacking, y'all. It's where it's at. All right, so uh, let's let's do those, start. Oh, I'm sorry. Do those treats also stack with the bard's song of rest? Like, could we do both on a short rest? It doesn't say you can't. I don't see so, why not. Yeah. It's two different disciplines. So yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's not. It's not like good food uh, cancels out good music. If anything, I find they yeah. often go together. All right. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and start with our rolls for watches. So, um, Fariel, you will take the first watch. Uh, everybody else, are you... But, I mean, outside of the professor, who is diligently reading. Uh, anyone else wish to do anything with their time? Uh, no, I mean, I'll, I'll do my standard, um, you know, memory memorizing of spells and just kind of my normal routine. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, and then Herrick? Anything particular? Or are you take Spending some time doing the cook stuff, and then we'll offer obviously watches, and if not, then go and get some rest. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, Fariel, go ahead and roll for me a perception check. Oh. <laughs> you. Nice. Okay. Dirty twenty. Coming out the gate with a dirty twenty. All right. Uh, yeah, with that perception roll, like. Uh, all seems quiet in the town hall. You can occasionally hear from your position where you're... Now, do you stay where you're at on the second floor? Do you... I probably uh, meander a little okay, bit okay, to kind of, okay. like, keep an eye on things. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to recommend that everyone kind of... Or I, I'm going to assume that everyone sort of takes a patrol kind of passing through these doors here, which will take you out to the landing, just that it can look down on the first floor. And then if you go back over to this door... You can then come back through and sort of work your way around in a nice little circle, which would cover most of the building, and should and and most importantly the two entrances that lead into it. So that would be my yeah, suggestion. Yeah, I might also take a few passes down to the dungeon area just to keep okay. an eye out down there, since our Dirk, our friend, seems to be expecting an escape party yes. at some yeah, point. Yes. No. No. So. I see, yeah. In the previous game, the. Uh, uh, Fariel was one of the one of the few characters in here who can speak Underdark. Had some words with the Durgar prisoner, Klaska, who is uh, pretty convinced that his friends are coming for him. All right, so you take the patrol with that twenty. Uh, you notice that there are uh, that's a uh, there's a heavier guard presence in the uh, the building, just like Imdra said she would help you guys out with. But all seems quiet. All right, and up next is uh, going to be, um, if you want to go ahead and uh, nudge Xander, uh, since he's... Yeah, I'll go his, uh... find him, kind of shake him awake. Hey, you're up. Uh, 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 what? It's all right. <laughs> you're up. Uh, oh, cool. Thank you. Any uh, Anything weird or pretty all's quiet? Been, all's been quiet. I did make a couple passes down to the dungeons, too, just to keep an eye on our Durga, our friend. Okay, I will. I will do the same. And so DMI will do the. the uh, she tells me about the route she took and yeah. going downstairs and stuff. So I will. I will patrol a similar uh, route as well. Excellent. Uh, I love that's that. a, a perception, you say? Yes, a perception roll. If you'd be so kind. Okay. Oof, Fourteen. 
Not as good as hers, but... I'm going to say. Uh, so, yeah, with that 14, um, again, uh, some of the, you notice that some of the guards are starting to get a little... Oh, like a little bit restless. And some of them are, like, trying to stay on their feet, and the rest of them are trying to stay, like, focused in. But, you know, it's... They're starting to get a little bored. Like, it just doesn't seem to be like a whole lot's going on. Oh, do you uh, check in with Tempest at all? Have you called her back? Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I've had her kind of just out and about patrolling. So I'll, I'll, I will assume that she will have come within 100 feet of me and we'll just kind of chat through the walls. I'm not, I don't want to open the door and risk a, a breach of any kind. So, oh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, as you check in with her, have Tempest roll a perception check. See if she sees anything. Absolutely. Uh, shift. 13. <laughs> we're, we're rolling the salt marsh dice tonight, if anyone's uh, <laughs> curious, apparently. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, so, yeah, okay, with a 13, like Tempest says, nothing seems amiss. I, I don't see anyone approaching the building at this hour, nor do I see anyone leaving. No, no, uh, errant footprints like like at the boat with the other Durgar. The prisoner here thinks that he may have a welcome, a uh, reception party with his friends. Hmm. With a thirteen, uh, so the uh, that that pers- so that so the the Durgar tracks were pretty easy to find last time mm-hmm. they were in the town, and Tempest knows what to look for. With the, the thirteen, she says, absolutely, there are there are no tracks that match that pattern. Okay. Uh, Good work. Keep it up, and um, I'll check back in later. Hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> what was the? Oh, you made the horse noise for it. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 the sound an owl makes, right? When the cold, <laughs> yeah. it's a cold owl. Yeah. Um, all right. She, she's Faye. She's fine. Uh, next up, you can go ahead and wake up Flynn if you like. Uh, I will. I'll wake him up and I will tell him about my roots and hey, Flynn, Flynn. Hey. He wasn't married. What? Hmm? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, what? I don't even. It wasn't me. What? It wasn't me. What, is, what, what did you uh, say? Hmm? <laughs> uh, uh, patrol, it's your turn. Yep. That's right. My turn. Patrol. All right. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and I will tell him about the, the route that Fairy and I took and that I talked to Tempest and she didn't see any tracks yet. Uh, and I will tell him to keep an eye on the guards because they seem to be kind of restless and starting to drift off a little. So maybe he sings a one of his his tales or just does his normal Flynn magic. Mm. <laughs> Have hair you guys see this head of the sea hag I yeah. took? <laughs> you ever smell anything that stinks like this? <laughs> I mean, uh, he's not wrong. Flynn is going to... Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, buddy, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, I was going to say, when, when, once you uh, once you take off, I'll, I'll if I needed to finish trancing or, or finish with my spell study or whatever, I'll just go back to that. Brilliant. I said, do you go up and check on your buddy, the professor, at all? or? Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll head that way. So we'll, we'll let... <laughs> We'll let, I had forgotten you up there. We'll, so we'll let Flynn do his uh, his interaction with you, and then I will. Uh, I'll, we'll, we can do me and the professor, unless you want to do it the other way. Uh, no, let's do. Let's do, let's have Flynn uh, roll his perception. Oh, uh, actually, both of you roll perception right now. Oh, okay. Uh, Flynn and Xander. Yeah, Flynn and Xander. Oh, and, seventeen. Uh, Herrick, are you up? <laughs> 16. Um, what time of night is it? it all depends, I don't know what's really. going on, but is there a chance that I would perceive anything? No, no. If you haven't been downstairs, you wouldn't perceive anything. Excellent. It all depends what uh, time of night is. 17 and a 16. Herrick, are, are you, uh, have you, have you dozed depends. off? Or, uh... can, can you guys hear me, yeah? Yeah. 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 It, all, it all depends on what time of the night it is. So if it's still early or if it's 2 a I mean obviously he's offered to watch if no one's woke him up then so to my mind each watch is uh, represents about 4 hours time yeah so, so it's got to be what 2 a.m. so if no one's woke him up then no he would not yeah. be awake 
All right, all right. So then uh, Herrick is out. So then with the 17... How close are we to the end of Xander's watch? Oh, uh, this would be the end of Xander's watch. So that would if be... If the watches are only four hours? Yes. Then Faria would be coming back to alertness. Oh, excellent. From the, from her trance. trance. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. So then uh, go ahead and roll your perception. That's well, what we're looking touch. for. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice. nice. Funny one. So uh, this, so this DC was was not terribly high, but you all smoked it. So well done. Uh, you notice that Zalvana is missing. Nope, she she's right there. I see her token. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no! Now 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 she's gone. Uh, is where did where did Zalvana go? Is she was she back on the, the on the map table on the the fishing license table? Uh, that's where I saw her last, but she wasn't in there just now. I mean, she was here when I fell asleep. Then that's all. I, uh, that's all I got. I'm, I'm going to run upstairs and check to see if the professor's seen her, and I will. I will make best possible speed upstairs to the library. And okay. all right, so uh, Xander heads off upstairs to the third floor. <coughs> uh, Fariel, Flynn, what do you do? I want to check the doors. Check the doors. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, Flynn, uh, I'm gonna do my patrol, um, okay. and as I as I do, I'm gonna like talk to each of the, well, not you know, like not like each of the guards, like, and well, you know, talk to the guards as I'm doing the patrol to like, voice them up a little bit. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so you're so you're making that patrol. So then the first guard you would talk to would be this fel- this fine fellow right here at the top of the steps. Yeah, there. yeah. All right, lovely, lovely. Uh, Faria, what door are you going to first? Let's, I guess, whichever one is closest to where I am. So, as you're, so the quickest way, and the way this, the way this town hall is designed is not great for expedient movement around. <laughs> no. Mm. Um, Wonder why. Mm. <laughs> it's almost like a dungeon master designed it. Um, so, uh, as you kind of come through these two double doors, you can get down to the main doorway, which has the two guards there. You'll notice that Flynn is currently talking to the guard up here. And you've got the two guards down there that you can chat with. Now, as you make your way that way, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the third floor where we find Xander with the professor. Uh, professor, I, I assume I haven't seen her on the way up. No, no, no. no. Professor, have you seen Zavana? She was she was downstairs asleep, and, and now she, she is not. No one has come this way, no. There's, like, books everywhere he's almost, <laughs> been, he's almost been like tearing this place apart uh i i am um, going to, i'm going to ignore the, the 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 orgy of books on the floor um we uh can you can you help see if we can find her i i, I did find a, a book in here that may have some interest for you uh but let's let's find Zalvana and then and then i can show that book to you and i'll head back down before he can say yes or no okay excellent Okay. I imagine here. he throws a book at me. He's like, <laughs> back no. here. Yeah. No. He's like, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right there. I just want to just want to finish this one up. Nope. Yep. Okay. See, now I'm imagining he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, yeah it's not because I don't <laughs> want to spend time with him, but I am. The fact that she is just suddenly gone is kind of weirded me out. So mm. Mm. fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So now Flynn. You begin your discussions with the guard, and then Fariel, you talk with the two guards down at the, by the main doors. They all say, didn't see anybody. No one's been in or out this way, not at all. I want to look at the actual, like, entrance entrance doors, like mm-hmm. entrances and exits to see if it looks like anybody's passed through anywhere. Absolutely. Um, A per- perception check away on that door. Uh, this is for the double doors at the front? Um. Yeah, we'll start there. That's- mm-hmm. Yeah, with the 19, 19, like they are, like you check them, they're still locked solid, and like it looks like they they had actually dropped a bar in front of it, so it's like, oh, okay, well, little little terrifying if there's mm-hmm. some sort as of As soon as I know that she didn't go through this way, I'm moving on to right. like and the she's... next windows, doors, just kind of checking everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, so then you're going to go ahead and come through uh, the side door here, which puts you into the administration uh, office, and then you can come through here. And you know that the only other door out is this door right here on the north side. Um, DM, is, are these the stairs up to the th- up to three? Yes, those are the stairs up okay. to three. So as you come back down those stairs, uh, anyone wake Herrick up yet? Well, as soon as you finish with Furiel, <laughs> I, I'm going to go into that. 
Lovely, lovely. Okay, so Fariel, as you come to those corners, you notice that the guard is, so he's got his back kind of facing towards the door a little bit, and he's kind of leaning against the wall. And as you, do you approach him? Does he look like he's asleep? Oh, absolutely. He's... I'm going to sneak up to him as quietly as I can. Roll stealth check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you would have had to have bungled this hard in order to, yeah, but yeah, with a nat 20, or not a nat 20, with a dirty 20, you absolutely can. Okay, and he's standing, leaning against the yeah, wall? Yeah, he's, he's literally like kind of leaning, he's kind of got like his, he's just kind of like slumped against the wall here, he's kind of got like one leg braced out, which is sort of his main support for keeping him upright. I'm going to sweep that leg out from under him. <laughs> <laughs> he just what? <laughs> drops to the floor, and is oh! Help! Help! And hey. starts hollering. <laughs> stop screaming. What? Are you stop kicking me. Well, what? you were sleeping on duty and one of our party members has gone missing. What? I, I didn't steal her. No, but someone might have passed through here while you were sleeping on the job. Well, they'd have to get through me mm. first. Yeah, which I just mm. did. Fairly please, easily, I might add. Please, please, please don't tell the sergeant. I'll, I'll, I'll be in so much trouble. I'll, I'm really sorry. I'll, sorry. I... You better hope she's all right. No, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm awake. I'm, a, I'm awake. I'm good. I'm good. I want to check this door. Go ahead and uh, make a perception check. Oh, yeah. Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nine, yeah, nineteen. Man, fairy L. Dude, I don't want to jinx anything, so I'm not even going to talk about those. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Just like that wisdom save last game, where you're like, oh, yeah, I'm slaying it. And then um, she, uh, is, she is not using the salt marsh dice tonight. Yeah, <laughs> no, not even not even kidding. So, uh, yeah, for sh so the door is um, secured, um, but there's like you with your experience with locks and whatnot, like, and the role of a 19, like you can tell that this has been, like there's that little kick of snow on the inside that happens if someone had opened it and then closed it again. So it looks as if someone had gone out the door and then closed it again to secure it. I'm gonna grab the guard and like pull his face near me. Look, look, look. do you see that? What the, no, the, of course you don't, because you don't see anything. What's Someone's the door? passed through this door. I didn't, what, I didn't go through it. No one went. Yeah, I know you didn't. Someone did while you were sleeping. I'm sorry. Push him up against the wall. <laughs> and I'm just going to go try to find somebody else, because I don't want to go out here by myself, and I don't trust this bozo. Should I tell somebody? <clears throat> I don't care what you do. Make yourself useful. What's your name, by the way? Um, um, Dax. Don't lie to me. D Dax, Dax, it's Dax. All right, Dax. Well, if you want to make yourself useful and make up for this mistake, get your guards over here. Tell them someone's breached this door and we're missing someone. But, but, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, okay, yeah, no, breach the door, someone's missing, we're good, we got who are- Yeah, now. Okay, <laughs> and he, and he, you see he like, like double times it down the hallway back to the main, uh, back to the front doors here. Uh, and as he does that, what do you do? So, uh, Flynn, having finished your interrogation of the guards, and now Xander and Professor? Yeah, uh, he, Professor's in the room. All right, uh, yes. not, not, not to be overly pedantic, but how could someone pass through his space since that's only a five foot space and he feels it? The guard? You can squeeze. You can squeeze. Plus, if he was slumped up against the wall and also. Asleep. I will remember the, exactly the, like... sh the slumped up against the wall, and that will come up in a future fight, my friend. Someday yeah. Xander's going to be slumped up against the wall somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to slump up and let Herrick pass me in a future combat. <laughs> you can pass through as long as you, as you, long as you just lock gonna... eyes with him and go, Herrick, squeeze. <laughs> That's all I want. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to wake Herrick up. Herrick, Herrick, wake up, wake up. It was me, and she was married. Shh, 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 shh. Listen, listen, Herrick. 
yes. Wait, 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 what? Hey, uh, Herrick, Zalvana's missing. Come on, Zalvana's missing. She's missing. She's not here. She was here, and now she's not. Oh, get up. Um, and... Whew, goodness. I, I guess I'll try to link back up with either Flynn or Fariel to find out what they have... Right, so through this... Through this window here, oh, party members on the second floor, you can very easily hear sort of that, like, fairy elves having this exchange with the guard. And while it's not necessarily, you can't pick out word for word what's happening, you know something She's is amiss. <laughs> oh, that sounds like her pissed voice. Um, yeah. Oh, that's not, that's never good. <laughs> that's not yeah. good. No. All right. Can so can... have we all, so I would, I'm going to say that we've all convened at least down here in the courtyard. Sure. Um, yeah, uh, I was, I was on my way down there. Yeah. I was interested in this little, these double doors up here next to this crane. Ah, okay. Because uh, I'm noticing that there are, is more than two entrances, and I want to, has this guard been in this corner of the room the entire time? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to approach that guard and just say, has... Has this door been made secure? What, the the crane door? Yes, that one. I mean, yeah, no one's used it for ages. But is it locked and barred like the other doors? Well, I mean, it, it should be. It's should a crane be. door. All right. <laughs> You're <laughs> quickly becoming useless. All right, so I'll push past him. I'm putting my years of... Uh, uh, of security <laughs> to, to work here, showing just how effective uh, some town guards are. All right, uh, so go ahead and roll. Per- you rolling perception on that that there crane door? Uh, if that's what I need to see if it's unlocked, I was just gonna like try the doorknob, but no. Uh, yeah, you can. Well, the, it's not exactly a door knob per se. The way in which so it's the way so the crane door kind of works where it's got the latch on the bottom and the latch on the top, and then it like. So once you unlatch it, you can swing it out, and then both of those kind of have the secure latches on them. Okay. Uh, just I, looking I, at it, do the do the pers- latches? Roll me a perception okay. check. Let's just, okay. Let's just do the perception check. Fine. <laughs> I mean, let let you know dice tell a story. Oh. Nine. <laughs> so even with a nine, um, you can tell that one of the doors is unlatched. I'll turn to the guard and say, who came this way? No one. It's it's a crane door. They, they have to climb up the building to get in. Now, who's going to climb up a building? <laughs> That's like, like 10, 15 feet. That's impossible. Are you stupid? Anyone <laughs> who would... <laughs> What? Anyone who would want to come in here unannounced, we just told you there's going to be a prison break tonight. Why would they walk in the front door? Well, but but they, you said there were dwarves, and dwarves are, dwarves don't climb. They're short. Oh no, they have got they've got no proficiency with stone and tools and things like that. No, that's fine. <gasps> so you think they're gonna dig? Oh, you're useless. Dwarves don't climb. Um, they, jump, they jump things and hit things. Or jump into things and hit the things. He's, yeah. yeah, they. Yeah, <laughs> my 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 mistake. You're right. Dwarves are known from slamming headfirst into objects. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make my own door. So uh, everyone knows yes. that we could just take this so, town over, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Know, yeah better off. Let y'all know. Let y'all so, know. I will say. So this. I will say that the the guards at the front gate seem far more adept at their jobs. You just happen to find the two blunders. How convenient! <laughs> you, you, you guys uh, seem to forget that that waterfall was not the first thing Harrick tried to run through. Don't you remember the boat? He tried to run through the wall with the boat. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You, guard in the corner, come over here. My name's Sven, but yes, hello. I guard in the corner. Come over here. Sven, yes? Uh, okay. So, I'm going to open this door. What? No. What? Okay. Yes. So, the one that's unlatched, I want to... No way! I'm going to open it, uh-huh. and I need you to look outside, make sure the coast is clear. 
All right. I mean, you look kind of old, so it's because your eyes are bad? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. All right. My eyesight has been has been going lately. Just wanted to uh, get another pair of eyes on this one. Roll right. a deception check. Yep, 30, no, 20. You, yeah, no, yeah, oh, no, yeah. No, you, you look positively ancient, my friend. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, I, I know. That's, it's, that's, uh, all right, yeah. Is, so, age is a ter it's a terrible thing. Yep, yep, yep. No, it's, uh, yeah, so, it's a burden. Uh, on a count of three, ready? Just just pop your head out. One, yeah. ready? Yeah, set. Yeah. Okay, I'll open the door. Mm -hmm. Is there anything out there? Snow? Uh... There's there's like a little like platform where they would load stuff out there, right? Mm. Something like that. No, not. I mean, so the ways in which that this building is designed is it's just sort of uh, like a flat door up against the wall. Sven, of course, being a fan of the architecture, um, <laughs> so, uh, so it's like it's like a it's like a barn door that sort of just opens up to the side, similar to um, oh, I don't know. I imagine if you've. Uh, Visited one of them fancy uh, theater houses and whatnot, where they try to pull yeah. things. Yeah, so you yeah. Know, it's, it's not exactly a ledge so much as a well. I mean, the ledge is what we're standing on, which is right. actually about. Uh, do you see? You see anything on the edge of the wall, like uh, some displaced oh. snow from the windowsill where someone might have climbed up? Leans out, kind of looks around a little bit. It's like, oh, huh. well, I mean. I mean, here, here's here. Okay, here's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna need you to go outside and then. I'm gonna have him get get underneath this door. So I'm gonna have him roll for perception. Eh, okay, with a twelve. Uh, so the the the, the snow uh at, like that's outside um the this this barn door uh it with the twelve he's like there's there appears to be some like unsettling in the snow underneath, but it doesn't look to be anything too horrendous like it's not like someone tried to like I mean, because there's no evidence of like a rope or anything that someone had like left no. there or pulled in or anything of the sort it also doesn't look like there were any sort of um tracks coming up the wall or at least that he can see great all right is it is everyone down in this courtyard down here yeah yeah so our, to my knowledge yes party of mine Okay. Sure. Yeah. If that's, I, I wasn't yeah. sure which. There's like ten courtyards, so I wasn't exactly sure which. Oh one. no. Fair enough. So I, I would have uh, you all be in the the courtyard where you battled the ghost, which the demon oh, statue, the yeah. first floor. Okay. Yeah. Yes. The first floor. Professor, what's going on? This door is vulnerable and has been left open. It, is, yeah, is is Tempest within a hundred feet of me? Hmm. Um. Yes. Uh. Tempest, southwest loading door. Uh, it's open right now with the professor and a guard looking at it. Check it for tracks, please. On it. It needs to check the other side, too. This door down the hallway, oh. this useless guard was sleeping in front of it, and it, someone passed through it at some oh. point. I, I, will, I will. She she can't take orders from Furiel. Uh, I, will, I, will tell, I will tell her that, though. Check the loading door, and then come around and check the, the north door where, where we were earlier. Awesome. I'll we give you. I'll give you the boon of rerolling that advantage check or that perception check with her, uh, buddy. Well, it's a new check. I would hope you would. Well, I mean, she's just owling around. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, the die was on the nineteen, and then at the last I, second I know, it rolled I over the nine. Yeah. Okay. The virtual oh. dice drive me crazy because I know that there is a computer that decides what number it's going to be before anything happens, but it always drives me nuts. <laughs> you still get that feeling of it like, so oh, close. it's almost. Yes. If, if I tip my monitor, it'll go back to the <laughs> yes. Just shake the screen a little bit. <laughs> you just kind of shake the screen a little bit. It's like, no, no, no. Yeah. All right. Um, so uh, with a 12, which is oddly enough, the same perception as the guard, uh, you uh, so Tempest, so she, she flies around, and uh, yes, so there does seem to be uh, a disturbance on the barn side of the building, um, but they are not Durgar tracks that she is able to determine uh, with her knowledge, previous knowledge. And okay, then so I, I will, I will, I will say that out loud to the party. Okay, 
Uh, and then she's going to go ahead and swoop around and uh, using the 12 again. So the tracks. Uh, I was going to hope that you let me have another one. <laughs> well, no, baby. It's, it's a new roll. So she rolled. It's good. Uh, so with that, she swoops around to the other side of the building. And with the 12, she's like, uh, I, I don't see any, any tracks leading from the north door, Xander. Though the snow is falling pretty heavily. It's possible they may have been covered. Uh, okay, good, good job. Um, just keep a keep keep the circle going on the building and 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 keep your eyes peeled, friend. We'll do. Who? <laughs> Have we checked um, the dungeons? That, no, that was going to be my next suggestion. I sent that worthless guard to bring more. Absolutely. So, um, as as Dax uh, brings in uh, his other guard friends. They all sort of try to reconvene. Now, granted, the, the guards aren't going to pull everybody from patrol, so that way there's still people in the building. But Good, the I was worried about that. Yeah, one of the guards yeah, is going to say Yeah, because they've been doing have... such a cracking job so far. <laughs> hey. So, uh, the, the, so one of the guards comes up from the uh, dungeon, and then Dax comes in, and then one of the guards from the front gate comes in. Uh, he keeps his other friends sort of still posted there. And so you've got... Dax and two other guards. Um, he comes in. He's, uh, I, I told the others, and uh, we, we're, we've re-examined the, both the front door and the the north door is now secured. He the, looked at you sheepishly. The, the second then, floor. The second floor loading door was unsecured. There's some sort of disturbance outside on the ground. I, I, I and then Sven up on the top is. Well, I, I, I mean, it, it hasn't been open for a long time. It, it could have been just that way uh, i'm gonna come up to the gallery up here uh dm uh where the professor had been and i want to perception and see if i can see wet footprints uh handprints any snow transfer from oh, climbing actually. up and coming in hopefully there would still be some moisture because mm -hmm. they wouldn't absolutely. have to they wouldn't have to have passed him they could have gone the other way go ahead and roll a perception check Jesus Christ! Whoa. Them salt marshy die. So uh, with the I ten, mean, this is unbelievable. Well, now ten is an average. So, so uh, looking for obvious, but, like but I rolled marsh. a six. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, so with that ten, you uh, uh, looking for obvious, like wet track marks, snow foot, like something. Like uh, there doesn't seem to be any tracks coming in to the building from that barn door. That's Obviously, your you're putting us in position to uh, to have something pop off. Or were we successful in long resting, or were some of us successful in long resting? Uh, to my knowledge, all of the half elves were successful in long resting. Herrick was successful in long resting. The professor, it doesn't matter. He just reads, so he's good. And I believe since Flynn had the last watch, that's a full eight, eight hours. Because two watches is four. Yep, yep. So nice. that, sh that should have covered everybody, if I'm not mistaken. So we lose our existing temps. Is that correct? I believe so, yes. I, I believe that's true yeah, as well, yeah. well, unfortunately. Because I, I think it's, un yeah, because it's, it's like the next day or until you finish a, a long rest. So having finished the long rest, you lose your temporary hit points. Yes. Okay. But everyone should have finished their long rest, which is why, friends, you use half elves. I tell you, that four we're not We're not halves. We're oh, full. sorry. Half full. elves, don't, half elves don't, get don't get it. Apologies. I didn't mean to go all half cocked there. So oh, no. we're going to rename this stream to a uh, rhyme and punishment. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really yes. good. <laughs> yes. Stole my joke. I love you. All right. Um, all right, friends. So, yes, having finished your long rest, job well done. Um, you discover that there are no tracks leading into the building. The way that you say that makes me think maybe this could have been a way out, but I don't know why Zelvano would have done that and why she wouldn't have been seen by Mickey the Wonder Guard there on the top of the stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't know why she wouldn't have been seen by um, Mickey the Wonder Guard? Just to get this corrected, pe the, the uh, people that were watching were going and checking the, gu uh, the prisoner and stuff, so. Mm-hmm. So we know he's still so. There. Uh, speaking of which, one of the guards has come up from the dungeon and says, "We we heard about the the, the doorways. The the Durgar is still in his cell. Uh, nothing seems to be amiss down there. I've got two guys, uh, two guards uh, watching him. Uh, Make sure, it, they stay awake. 
Yeah, absolutely. This is feeling like something's about to pop off. So. All right. All right. Well. Wait, you, 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 you going back down there. Do you have any sand or like wire, um, flour, any sort of something that you can coat the floor with? Oh, that you can see the... footprints coming towards you or the, like. The kitchen area on the second floor should have sand to put out fires. All right. We'll get that. You and our other guards hold yourselves in front of that, in front of that gate until, uh, until the daylight comes and, you know, the regular rotation comes back in and you coat from where you are all the way to the stairwells, whichever way you're going. So that way you can see somebody coming towards you because if they're jumping off walls, you should be able to hear that coming at you or you can see some footprints coming. Excellent. Oh, I love that, Flynn. Okay. Uh, yeah, of, co- yeah, of course, of course. Uh, Dax, go get me some damn sand. Uh, yeah. I give sorry. him the eye. <laughs> as, no. as the guy gives him his orders. That's a very <laughs> clever idea, Flynn. So Dax heads upstairs. I've got an idea. Oh, good. All right, so uh, <laughs> Dax heads upstairs and gathers up the sand for the- Thunder, did you see anything out that upper window? Or up the door that you were looking out? Uh, oh, uh, no, it, it doesn't seem to be any any signs of uh, of anyone coming in, but I have been wrong before. But Tempest did see footprints down there. She saw some sort of disturbance at the base, but but she didn't specifically see anything on the wall, which I think jives with, with what the professor found. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm thinking about yes. walking around there and taking a look. Probably not a bad idea. Um, is Tempest within me, DM? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to tell Tempest that Feral... No, I'm sorry. I heard that as, is Tempest within me? And I was like... Well, that's that's what I said, and I don't know, I don't know why. We're gonna edit that part out on the YouTube. No, no, that's it. No, so, so DM, ladies and gentlemen, uh, an owl. I was like, what the? And cut. So DM is Tempest within a hundred feet of me. Oh, that's good. Yes. Uh, no. Yeah. Tempest is still within. She's circling the building like you asked her to. So she is. Uh, I will. I will just tell her that uh, Fairyel is going to come out and circle around and to match uh match pace with fairyel and keep an eye out uh for anything that may pop off out there excellent okay um Herrick will ho- uh clasp his uh his holy symbol and uh he will uh speak the words uh Astim Azbrak. Azbrak. and cast see invisibility Ooh, nice Ooh, nice, nice. nice. That is handy which yeah, is a twilight spell uh, that he has. That'll do, Cleric. <laughs> that'll do. That'll right, do, a donkey. So. Mm. <laughs> well, now I can't wait for the inevitable of, hey, there's some invisible guys about to step in the sand. And he's, <laughs> yeah, right. he's just about to step you. <laughs> I've got to reload D&D Beyond because I didn't click it on there. I have clicked it. All right, so for the duration, you see invisible creatures and objects as if they were visible, and you for, can see into the ethereal plane. Mm. Uh, ethereal creatures and objects appear either ghostly or translucent. You have a duration of one hour and a... Uh, okay, so what's the... I guess the range is just your your My sight. sight, which is yeah. 300. Yeah. All right, all right. So, uh, Herrick, you, you, you take a look around. Um, I see. And yeah. you're up here on the second level? Yes. Um, yes, lovely. Uh, I'm so, just looking around. Yeah, so as... Yeah, so as so what do we see as you activate this power? Does and, and it would like otherwise other than hearing that sort of incantation? Do His eyes see? will flash a bright um, blue, and then they will dim down to like a a dark sapphire. And it will ah, just like a, gent- a gentle love glow. Yeah. Nice. Um, anyone who wishes can roll an Arcana check. Anyone who wishes, well, yeah. hell, I'll roll. Yeah. How bad could it be? Yeah, so, right? I'm nowhere near there, so I'm just going to assume that I didn't see that. Boom! Ooh. First How natural bad 20. could it be? There it is. That is gorgeous. That's, that's a 25 crit, DM. I love it. I love it. So uh, as as Cla- as Herrick uh, sort of evokes the spell, you see that, that shimmering aurora sort of <clears> behind <throat> him and around his head. And you see cresting on his forehead, Xander, a blue infinity symbol. 
Hmm. Uh, I'm I'm gonna hang on to that right now because I don't know that this is the time to discuss that. Yeah, right. Did did any of the others of us see it? I had a 16. Flynn had a 14. There we go. Well, uh, no, with a 16 and a 14. Uh, the, let's say you do not see it. You you obviously see okay. the flash uh, of the. Actually, I'll, I'll. So with the flash, you see that flash, and then Professor, you see the aurora behind him, but only Xander is able to determine the uh, the infinity symbol on his forehead. Is okay. this Aurora match one that I've seen before? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, well, glad you know uh, this sorry, real clue. quick. We kind of uh, blew past it. Did I find anything? I was told to search the library. Did I find anything of interest? So, Flynn, uh, Flynn also asked me to search if there's anything about psionics and that I wanted to, before we go too, too far. No, no, uh, excellent. So yeah, before we, before we deep dive too far into it, um, your search of the library uh, was somewhat, um, it, it was very thorough. Um, and a, as you kind of went through it, um, you remember in the back of your head that Sander had said something about a book he had found. Yeah. Because in all of your searching, you discovered that like, fishing charts and you know the the best way to gut a yeti and you know <laughs> wait first... wait that might be useful i hope you kept that book <laughs> yeah right yeah. 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 <laughs> furs furs and more furs um my story on the ice you know uh it's a uh, you know uh, like mm. things that you were yeah yeah not, nothing that you're like oh this will be a page turner um yeah. all right um, no i just wanted to double check so no, but the the with Xander's sort of like oh I, I've got a book I wanted to talk to you about like that flares in your mind. Okay. Nothing. There's no like history of psionics and psionic creatures and abilities. Yeah. No. Oddly enough, in the uh, in the East Haven Town Hall, no no uh, no history of psionics and uh, <laughs> psionics and Weird. what it means to you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm picturing one of the 1950s uh, film strip. Uh, uh, how to things. Oh, I mean, they have like a flashback of Fallout where it's just like, greetings and hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. No, so uh, nothing of that sort. All right. Okay. What yeah. what can what can you see, Herrick? Anything anything worthwhile? Um, I don't know. What do I see, DM? Uh, currently, you don't see anything. Actually, roll me a d20. What do you say? I mean, suddenly, the, as we got quiet, there are dogs barking in the soundtrack, the Roll20 soundtrack. That's yeah, right. right. Uh, I rolled a 10. You rolled a 10. So you see nothing either on the ethereal plane or on the invisible plane. You see your friends before you. If it was a perception, um, it would have been 16. What's that? If it was oh. a perception, it would have been 16. Yeah, okay. That's, that's 16. You still, you don't see anything. Nothing seems to stand out to you. Nothing. Mm, sorry. All right, well, let's, let's, since you have the the sight of some description, let's uh, let's let's walk you around. And um, I'm going to okay. head. You knew what I casted you. I'll walk around. Well, we, <laughs> there was there was a big, there was a big flash. Your uh, eyes went all glowy. It, it looks, it looks good on you, though. Um, and I, I, I guess uh, let, let's let's check the dungeon real fast just to make sure that they're not about to get in over their heads. And so I I'll was come, hoping I'll come down. to get around and check the bottom while you guys were still kind of at that upper barn door as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. No. So uh, we go ahead. So you, you take Herrick. Uh, Herrick, are you going down and around, or and then, or are you going around the upper part? I'll um I'll go and check out. I'll just walk around the whole building, so I'll go check okay, in dungeon, awesome. so dungeon first. I'm, I'm imagining that, like, so, uh, party, how, how you want to do this. So, um, does, do you split up and sort of search, like, you know, in, like, you, you kind of are, are circling each other around the building as you're sort of making your search? Does, is anyone going all the way up to the third floor? Is anyone checking well, to, out? To, to start with, I, I was going to try to grab Herrick and go check the dungeon to make sure that they're not excellent in over their heads. And the sand is a, is actually a fantastic idea, but yeah, yeah, yeah. if they're already Duragar ensconced, that, that may not 
or something in sconce. They might, that may have been, I'd see that. No, brilliant. Okay, that, so that, you, that's the only the first part of my plan so far. I haven't no, I like really it. So designed the rest of it. First part of your plan, Xander, you're taking Herrick down to the dungeon. Uh, Flynn, Fariel, Professor. Uh, Fariel is, if she's wanting to to look around, I will oh, wait, go no, with. That's right, I was no, going yeah. outside. That's right. Fariel is outside. She is currently tracking around outside. All right. Then never mind. Well, I ain't doing that. Uh, Amy, go ahead and roll me a uh, perception roll for Fariel. Actually, go ahead and roll me a survival check, whichever one uh, you're feeling better about. <laughs> I feel good about surviving. Yeah. No, okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, you do have that plus six. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me use that. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, really now, do. don't don't that let was... the DM burn off our bonuses. No, I, I for this I feel like that's important. Nineteen. Okay, with a nineteen. Yeah, so, that made a big difference. Uh, while the snow has sort of been falling rather heavily, and like you do notice that the while there is sort of a a, a, a weird, not not a recent impact around the barn door. It, it seems like. Seems like uh, it's been covered over for at least a little bit, which means maybe somebody fell out of it and then the guards closed it and then didn't bother to lock it or anything like that. Like, you know, sort of a shame moment. Um, You do notice as you walk around the building that you're able to, with a 19, uh, suss out that there are tracks heading from the town hall to the north. Okay, Tempest is flying above me. Uh, Tempest is still circling the building, and uh, and as, well, no. yeah, and as, I, I, as you came out of the building, Tempest has sort of like kind of like stayed off to your forty-five, trying to stay with you. Okay, I'm gonna try to like get her attention and point out the tracks. Okay, because I know now, that she communicates with Xander, so I'm hoping that maybe. Okay, cool. How do, <laughs> how do you <laughs> how do I how do, how do you now? how do you I need this? How do you interpret that I found tracks to the bird in the sky? Um, well, basically, I'm just going to kind of like try to flag her down and hope okay. that that's okay. like, hey, hey, So hey, she hey. starts to sort of circle you a little bit. And she, yeah. You, and then I'll be like. <laughs> you know, like, look at the grass. Yeah, like, no, no, that's no, exactly what I wanted. It's just, grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sounds like. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> with second word. Third, <laughs> consonant. All right. Yeah. Um, love it. So, yes. So then. Uh, Miming she, with an owl. So then, you, Xander, as you're heading downstairs, uh, I imagine you and Herrick are trying not to disturb the sand as much as you can, or, or yeah, they could probably sweep it back up when you're done. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, we we we, we, so we, we want to not we want to not disturb this. Thing. Yeah. All right. All right. So you guys are sort of very gingerly stepping down the steps as you try to get down to the dungeon. And the guards like, "What? Is something happening? What's going on? Why are you guys coming down here?" We uh, we just just taking a taking a taking a look around, making sure that uh, everything seems okay. It's it's tense up there. And all of a sudden, who who? Uh, Feriel has found some tracks outside. Uh, okay, tell her we'll be right there. They're heading to uh, the north. I will. But I, uh, wait, how do I tell her that? <laughs> I'm not going to respond to her. I'm just going to let her sweat that one. Because I because I want because I want to see you as the DM try to hoot back to her the the understanding of what I said, um, uh, and, and I will turn to Herrick and, and I guess I'll I'll turn to him but I'll say it loud enough the guards can hear. Uh, Feriel has found some tracks headed to the north. Um, oh. let's let's take a just a quick spin here and then and then get back up to her. All right. So, uh, Herrick, you are coming down the steps. Mm-hmm. You take a look. To your right and to your left, you see the guard right in front of you, who's kind of like, oh, sorry. And kind of moves out of your way a little bit out of the dungeon. And then as you look down past them, you don't see anything in this tunnel. You don't see anything uh, down this tunnel as well. I, uh, let's have a look. I am going to go around the corner. Where are we? I'm basically going to go check around a corner. I want to check inside the cells. Okay. And I'm going to go check in this room. Okay, excellent. So, uh, so as you, so you're able to. So, I, as I explained before, you're able to walk past the cells. You don't have to open the doors. You can just oh, look into okay. them. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Rather than like crack each one open at the time. So, uh, as you sort of peer into each of the cells, uh, nothing goes off. And as you come down here to the investigation room, nothing seems off. That's too bad. I was thinking we were going to find people in the cell. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, now. 
damn it, we tunneled to the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, I'll go and check in staff room as well, Garrett at barracks. Awesome. Yeah. No. So yeah. And again, uh, no, no invisible people, ethereal or otherwise. I walk past the cell where he is in. Obviously, it's only him in there. I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, which one's the card? The guard sergeant here in charge. Oh, uh, the captain here. Yeah. Uh, it's the gentleman right here who is, uh, is hanging out uh, in the middle. So, what did you see? Oh, nothing. But. And then right at the bottom of the stairs, I'll open up my trap, put some sand over it. <sighs> Don't step on it. It's, this thing is, it'll take your leg clean off. Durgas love it. And I will step over it. it, it is, it's absolutely one of our party members. Yes. No, I just is this is the sand over top really helping? Well, it helps. You'd be them. surprised how many folks go into it when it's not <laughs> obscured. So I think being <laughs> obscured. That's that's my point. Is like I love the idea of like a bear trap in the middle of a hallway that's just got like a little bit of sand. So yeah. Just sprinkle some sand on it. Yeah. You, know, no, yeah. you just sprinkle a bit of sand over it. Where, just to where did it go? <laughs> be careful. Oh, that's so good. Okay. Um, and then as as are we headed back up? Yeah. Uh, yes. As nice. as we're on the stairs, out of earshot of everyone, I will say, that's a. Uh, that's a very interesting uh, symbol on your on your forehead, Herx. What symbol? There's a there's a blue infinity symbol when you cast your spell. And that that there's a familiar familiar glow about you that I have seen. I first saw it our first night on the open open plains before Bryn Shander. Do I know what this infinity symbol is? Uh roll an arcana check. <laughs> Uh, 13. <laughs> so with that 13, you, uh, you, you cannot recall the taste of strawberries. No, you cannot recall, um, what God or, or goddess, the blue infinity symbol is though. Uh, and it's certainly none that you've, um, you remember from your studies. Um, though as you're sort of starting to knit your brow and, and concern, you hear, the voice of your wife just again over your shoulder and into your ear. Do not be alarmed. It's all right. I have no right, that's, idea. That's, that that's Buddy's face, not Xander's face, that reaction there. Oh, now, Buddy, now, Buddy, you don't hear that. No, 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 I know, I know. Oh, okay. That's why that was Buddy's face that, that reeled back, not Xander. Mm. I've, mm. I've, it. I have no idea what got that. I mean, well, I worship maybe. Moradin. Maybe, uh, which isn't that I, simple. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hand on his shoulder. Say maybe, maybe there's, there's more than one god that's smiling on us right now. Let's get upstairs and and see how the others are. Good idea. All right. So now, Flynn, the professor. What have you been doing with your time? Um, I'm just kind of hunkering down in the uh, the courtyard here. I do want to peek in and see if the body of Cyril is still there. Oh, excellent. Yes. Oh, man. Zalvana's going to be like cuddled up using him as a pillow. <laughs> it's about to get weird. It's super weird. It's not that kind of show, Zalvana. Yeah, right, right. All right, so you crack open the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was me looking around the door. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. No, I'm looking. Cast fireball. No. Um. That, yeah. Sure enough, like Cyril just. All right. I imagine that's what you say in character too. You're like, all right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Close the Wa door. Watching you, dead guy. <laughs> I'm on to you. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get Zalvana. He can't ever. Wow! Wow! God! <laughs> uh, 
Welcome to Cold Heart Witch, everybody. No. You are, you are a monster. Um, absolute monster. I cannot stand it. All, All right, right. So uh, moving on. on. You are you are outside uh, in the snow. Are you so? Are you following these tracks to the north? Are you waiting for the party? Like. I'm waiting well, to see what happens with Tempest because I've just, you know, mimed her and I'm excellent. You have, yeah. So you that mind? She's like making some sort of communication. Oh, and then, I don't want to just take uh, off into the dark on my excellent. own. Flynn, what are you doing at this moment? So, um, F Flynn isn't sort of built to like search through things and whatnot. <laughs> um, He's built for speed, if you remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is so this is sort of the downfall from like oh i'll just nope that's a ranger i'll just nope that's also a ranger. i'll just nope oh man i haven't been a fighter in so long i forgot <laughs> yeah. um but what flynn is gonna do is he's just gonna like pace in um the courtyard because this mm -hmm. seems sort of like the central area like hub of traffic like if yes, anyone's absolutely trying yeah. to go upstairs go to the go to the dungeons or go out the front so um he's just gonna take out both of his rapiers and um gonna use blind fighting um so <laughs> No, no, I love, I love the idea of he's just like, <laughs> where are you? Well, just, just kind of like, just kind of like dousing rods, just like two dousing rods or like, <laughs> and if, so like, I can see an invisible Black creature wolf. within 10 feet of me. Please guide my blade. Guide my blade. I need you now. <laughs> right. Love it. I love it. Guide my blade. Guide my blade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, so yeah, Zoom's so uh, Professor, you, you yeah, so I love that Professor goes to like check on Cyril and he's his dead cadaver is still in there. He turns around and he sees Flynn just like. What are you doing? I'm doing the best I can. You know what? I can't, I can't even fault you for that. Go ahead. <laughs> like, <laughs> like... All right, excellent. At this point, uh, Xander and uh, Herrick have come up from the dungeon. They see the professor. They see Flynn. Um, you know and... what? I'm not going to knock it because it's it's probably reminiscent of me in the boat when I was tracing through my patterns with my rapier, hoping uh, to to ping something that was invisible. So I'm not even going to knock it. If he looks at me, I'm going to give him a that a boy. Look. Yeah. Dig it. Dig it. Um, oh, yeah. and, I, and I think that you still have a message tempest to to deliver i to do i do in fact so as 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 all of you sort of reconvene uh in the courtyard fairy L, tempest sort of comes down to you and circles circles lands on your shoulder and... She gets a little closer to you. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, are they coming, or are we going back inside? What's that, Tempest? Wait. The trap down the well? Wait, let, me make, <laughs> let, me, let me make that easier. If I ask you for two options, you can't answer. Are they coming here? Should we go back inside? Mental note: workout, work workout, a yeah. workout, oh, yes. hoot pattern. <laughs> for no, let's try it again. Ready? Are they coming here? Oh, well, that works. All right. Well, let's go back then. One more time. What was the hoot? What was the hoot sequence? <laughs> I'm trying to give a hoot, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> One for yes. All right, yeah, all right. Two for no. <laughs> yes, all right. <clears throat> I didn't ask you anything. <laughs> Welcome to Cold Hard Witch, a story about an owl. Yeah. <laughs> Between Paul the Axebeak and Tempest the Owl, man, this show's for the birds. All right. This is some quality D&D &D right here. Uh, Tempest, how about, well, I don't know if you'll listen to me, but uh, I'll, we'll just go back inside. This is getting complicated. Oh, all right. 
You just keep saying no. <laughs> oh. Yes, you keep saying no. <laughs> oh. oh, God. I'm just going to head back toward the door. Oh, she's, as you start heading towards the door, she, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. <laughs> she grabs, sort of like tries to claw into your shoulder and like pull a little bit. Oh, and so you do want me to stay here? Oh. Well, uh, why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> you don't have to take that kind of attitude. <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. So we'll wait. <laughs> uh, I hate you so much, Buddy Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends. So, uh, oh, party, oh, mine. Uh, Fairy, I found some tracks. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah. I, 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 I told Tempest to tell her that we'd be out there. No fucking idea how Tempest is going to tell her that. So we should go. We should go check on her. All right. Oh. Oh man! And she's at she's at the north door or the southwest loading. She's at the door? north door. So Fa uh, Fariel had headed out the north. Well, <laughs> so she's just like right there. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. Well, no. So Fariel is actually outside. So right, right, is, right, right. But but yeah. like just on the other side of the door from where we are. Yeah, pretty so. much. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, I, I will come to the uh, to the door and open it. And it, what's the position, the the st status of the guard that's there? The Daxus. Look sharp, son. Door's secure, and no one's getting through here. Uh, very good. Uh, I'm gonna go through that door. Well, you, you, and and yes. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna unlock it and and uh, and pass him by. Well, uh, look at looking sharp, son. Looking good, be, doing good. Be careful. Should we follow you? Or are you coming right back? Well, I'm I'm gonna uh, right like I did before with when Tempest was looking. I'm gonna ha kind of have the door open, but blocking the door with myself to see if I can see Fairyel. All right. Mm. Oh, I'm good. staying. I'm staying indoors. You uh, you, you you she she found you and and talked to you. Yeah. We'll have to deliver loud you'll, you'll have to tell me how that works later. Um, what uh, what, what what did you find? Tracks. Headed northward. How many? How many, DM? Just one. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> how many? Real, real good. Real good. Real good. I mean, um, I found them. So, uh, the the pattern in the snow seems to head to the north. Um, but as the <laughs> as the snowfall is falling, like it, again, like it heads towards the buildings, and so it looks like just one set of tracks. And so last session, I found a, tra a set of tracks also headed this direction toward the buildings. True, but remember, you found Does, those tracks after uh, the Misty Step jump twice. twice. <laughs> right. I just want to know if these tracks look similar to those or if this is a completely different, like, maybe they look like the shape of Zalvana. the boot. Maybe it's different. Maybe these are Zalvana's tracks. Maybe mm, these are. Okay, so you know, given, the, given the time in between you finding the tracks and when they were. Um, when they were made, go ahead and roll a survival check. This one's going to be tricky to suss out, though. Can I go the and look The snow has help been falling. Oof. <laughs> well, Herrick did ask if he could help before she rolled the die. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Herrick, are you outside with her? Yeah, I, I said I wanted to go with. Brilliant. Then let's go ahead. If you want to roll that again, we can do it at advantage. Yeah. Or roll it again, and that'll be the advantage. There it is. Yeah. Ah, okay. With the 14, 14. Uh, you're able to determine that it is a, a medium-sized creature and it is a boot, um, uh, but that's about that's about it. Like, you, it's a booted medium-sized creature, which doesn't which necessarily... Which is basically exactly what I determined about the last set of tracks. Yep, yep. Okay. How, how filled in are they, <clears throat> Um uh, they're, They are, they're, like, they're... Oh, pretty, pretty filled in. Yeah, so it's, it was look like uh, with the amount of time, it's been at least... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Z says what's in all the boot. <laughs> um, I love it. Uh, so, uh, with that sort of, uh, they look like like tracks were made with at least in the last four or five hours. So. The uh, w what time of day is it? I mean, I, obviously, I know it's always dark here, but right, are, are right. people are people milling yet, or is is the city? calm and quiet so when you guys went to bed i would assume that it was about 
10-ish, right? If we if we start to, to hem and haw on that a little bit, right? So we give you the eight o'clock, so that gets you to two, then four. So now we're kind of coming up on 5 a.m. So like you're looking at like the, the, the fishers who try to get out on the ice early. Like you see a little mm. bit of movement there, but this is like, this is like paper route time where like very yeah. few souls are out and those who are out have a purpose, so. Tempest, try to follow these tracks out. Uh, stay lower than you normally would because they're starting to fill in a bit. Uh, try to try to follow them some and then uh, report back. Oh, I, I mean, yes, of course. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, yes. <clears throat> All right, so I'm, I'm having her fly lower than normal to, to yes, hopefully keep yes. them in. I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm telling the party, but you're part of my party as well, F and DM. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm having her, uh, I'm having her fly lower than normal to try to keep them in sight. And I told her to try to follow them out and then report back to us. So Excellent. I don't know if, if you want to follow as well, Fariel, or if we want to keep her on that and let's stay here and defend this post. I think we should defend. It's kind of where I am. If she had to leave, she had to leave for a purpose. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, seen, there's no signs of struggle, right, Feriel? It's 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 walking. It just seems like tracks leaving, yeah. You mm-hmm. said there was Doesn't one set of tracks, so she yes. wasn't taken prisoner. Mm-hmm. That's true. She, Unless you, someone she had knocked her out and carried coerced. her. I mean, how, how deep are the, the, the sets? I mean, so she was carried. Well, I it's, mean, it, it's been several hours of snow filling the tracks. It's hard to say. Do I see anything invisible, by the way? You do not see anything, uh, and so yeah, peering out, you don't see anything invisible. <clears throat> hmm. I'm just afraid if she's gotten into trouble, and we just sit here and wait. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just afraid that if we leave, something's going to happen here, and then Imdra, who we managed to calm down, is going to be beside herself and. That's true. Somehow it's going to be, somehow it will be our ass. Hey, uh, Do uh, we know? Dax, Dax, that, which one's by the door? Yeah, Dax. Oh, sorry, yeah, sir, yes, sir, here, by the door, sir, watching the door. Yeah, sir. what time is, what time is shift change? When does Indra come in with the new guards, with the fresh guards? Oh, well, uh, the, the captain? Yeah. Oh, the, uh, oh, the, the captain should be the, here at, uh, at, at eight, sharp. Uh, at uh, eight? Three, three, three hours time. Oh, uh, she... That, that's what she said she would report back. We, I mean, well, I mean, the, the the next change of guards should should be here uh, in the next hour, but. All right. Um, how about we do this? The next set of guards come up. You all double up uh, because the situation is dire, and then we go out and follow these tracks. I know that's oh. an hour of them getting filled in, but if we got a direction ahead, oh, we, we could use that. Yeah, and and I, I know that because I'm standing right here next to him and I'm hearing this exchange. I, I'm going to put my hand on Dax's shoulder. This is going to be my new thing. Apparently, it's putting my hand on people's shoulder. <laughs> I, 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 I know it's I know it's a lot to ask, but you know if 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 you think that you guys could help us out a little, stay on just a little longer until the captain gets here, so we can make sure the town hall. And I'm going to grip him a little bit. Is is secure, son? The town hall, the speaker, the safety of everyone rests on these shoulders here. He's going to look to Fariel real quick. She just wants you to be better, son. She just wants you to be better. Yeah. Yeah, I can do it, Dad. I mean, sir. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna turn the, the grip into a, into a pat. That a boy. Yeah. Okay. I got this. I'll, 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 I'll go put on coffee. Good Not thinking. Coffee before? What kind oh, of loose ship operation is this? <laughs> hey, hey, make some French toast if you can. That is it. It's gonna take time. He's got eggs. Oh, let's see. <laughs> so, what we do? Are we following these? Are we? Do we know where Prudence's house is? You don't. I don't think so. We don't yeah, know where so any that, of these people actually live. That's so what that I've been trying to figure out. So that never disclosed to you. Yeah. Are there any of the, are any of the guards still around? Uh, Dax has has run off to go get coffee, so there's none immediately by you. 
Um, There's the guy up on the walk by the the crane. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So if so, so Flynn's in. Yeah, so, we could holler up to him. Yeah. So if Xander wants to sort of like come in and holler at him, but. Uh, I'm hey. just wondering if Prudence's house, what direction it is from here. Yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll tell I'll tell Herrick to take my place in blocking the door. Oh, I'll do that very well. Um, that's that. Just to clarify that, that was my thought. DM is that I'm if I'm standing in the door, I yeah. can have it open and talking, and no one can pass my space because I'm like physically blocking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they'd ha- they'd have to give me a nudge. So, yeah. Um, I'll let Herrick replace me there, and I okay. will. I'll, I'll come to here and and holler up to. Uh, 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 pardon me. Uh, yes. Don't don't know your name. Oh, Sven. Do you know which way from here the speaker's house is? We've we found some tracks headed north from here. We don't know if it's our missing party member oh. or if it's someone headed that way. We're just trying to get a, 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 a bird's eye view of the town. Oh, uh, yeah. No, uh, um, uh, uh, speaker's house is. Now, this is Speaker Prudence, not not Speaker Wayland. No, yeah, no, of course. Poor bastard. Sorry, right, uh, speaker, uh, you, so, uh, if, if you, well, she's, she's, I believe she's, I mean, I've, I've never personally been there myself, but, uh, she's. Is it north of here? No, it's, uh, uh, south, actually, I believe, well, kind of south, uh, easterly, if you sort of follow, uh, the main drive, so. And I'll just, I will just walk away, leaving him to talk. Uh, did you. The, the speaker's house is south of here, not, not north. South, sort of the east, so, southeast. No. Southeast. As long as it's not north. Good to uh, know. Do I have anything? Is is uh, Tempest uh, back yet, or does that mean she's? I guess she's still following. If she's not back to me yet. Yeah, she's still following. Do you wanna you wanna give me another roll for perception? For Tempest. For Tempest. Sure. In the meantime, I'm gonna come back into the building and not just stand out here in the dark. <laughs> you love the dark, though. It's true. You were molded by it. Boom. There it is. That's a crit 23. There it is. That's what I was waiting for. All right, cool. So uh, with that, Tempest is able to sort of follow it and uh, similar to the tracks that um, Fairyel discovered earlier, it looks like these continue to the north, and as she's sort of following the tracks, because the tracks nearest to the town hall were the ones that were made earlier, and the ones that she's following, they're going to start to get a little bit fresher. Um, uh, she determines that they have traveled to the wet trout. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing she has come back and told me that then. Well, so she gets within the hundred, uh, the hundred range of you, and is like, the 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 tracks, they they go to the wet trout, or uh, at least that was the tavern that I saw them enter. Uh, I didn't dare go inside. Uh, no, no, that's that's probably wise. Um, take a take a post at the wet trout, please, and and just, it's it's pretty early. I don't know the new one should be moving in or out of it that that much. So just take up a post there, and uh, we we need to wait here for Indra. But but I will contact you soon. Well, it, it it being the hour that it is, this is most times when the taverns are shutting down for the night. But uh, At, uh, I guess I would have figured that they would be opening to like have breakfast and stuff. Possible. I mean, this yeah. is this is not like an all night drinking kind of town. It's a fishing village, right? It is. It is a fishing village. But the the reports that you've heard of the wet trout is that it's the it's the locals. Oh that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Par- it's that's the party in. That's the party one. Um, yes. Well, have you see, mentioned this out loud to the rest of us yet? I, I'm about to. Okay. Um, uh, do what you can to to keep tabs on it. We we should wait here for Imdra to get back before we turn loose of this. We'll do. Should I keep my eyes out for anything in particular? Well, keep your eyes out for Zalvana. Uh, oh my! She is. She has gone missing. Of course, of course. Thank you. Uh, and I will come back in directly until all of my, I won't know that I'll tell everyone in the room, but I'll tell all of the party uh, what what Tempest just told me. Uh, they she she says the tracks go directly from here to uh, to to the wet trout, and so I I told her to post up and 
keep an eye on the comings and goings, uh, but we needed to wait for Imdra. Did, 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 would Zalvana have business at the Wet Trout? We, I mean, we believe these are Zalvana's tracks. I don't, I don't know if we believe it or if we hope it or just think it, but they're, they're, in the absence of any other information. She I seemed mean, to be on really good terms with that other innkeeper. Maybe she does know someone at the Wet Trout. If not, it's a good place to, you know, play a couple songs and make a quick coin. Yeah, she is a bard, so maybe she, maybe, maybe she got a rest and decided to go make a little, a little cash. I think uh, a visit to the Wet Trout was in our future, if not already overdue. I, I'm starting to piece together what's going on in this town, and I, I believe the Wet Trout is a, uh, in addition to, I believe the bar is just a, a front. Uh, and I believe that's where the uh, the cult of Oriel is using as its base of operations. Uh, come, come again. Do, base do, do of we, operations. Do any of us recognize DM, or could we roll for cult of Oriel? Do, does that ring a bell for any of us? Uh, this is the first time any of you have heard of the cult of Oriel, though you, uh, Z I believe, Xander. Mm -hmm. Was the one who picked up the uh, the 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 amulet uh, the the amulet uh, the uh, the omelet? I picked the omelet up. Yes, you picked up the omelet. It, it was, was a it was sort of a shell of its former self. Um, no, um, <laughs> so uh, the symbol that is uh, or real, and so you know that there are at least from the corpses that were in the witches in the hags caves, there are um, followers of or real in East Haven. But it, but it doesn't say courtesy of the cult of Oriel. <laughs> no, no, there's no. <laughs> um, I will, uh, I, I, I will, I will, I will pull that out. This is a, a necklace that I took off of a corpse in the, uh, in the, in the cave, and yes, that, this I believe is a, a symbol for Oriel. That is her symbol, yes. So if it's on a necklace, then surely people are worshiping her. It's um, similar to any other holy symbol that I've seen. Yes, but why would you worship someone who is creating a frozen hell on earth for for all of Icewind Dale? People do all kinds of mad things. I don't know. Uh, I haven't I haven't been able to figure that part out yet. Is it? Should we? discuss that with the captain when she and again the dm i'm assuming that this is just this is just party speak no of the other guards around no remember uh dax ran off to make coffee and i believe the rest of you are sort of in that hallway in fact if you want you could all duck into the speaker's office and sort of have a little this i don't want to leave the door until someone's excellent back well, i'm sorry uh the only one who isn't currently i believe standing by you is flynn who is still sort of doing his you know, Dirk I, I, I would have, I, I, I would have waved him over when I was excellent, the, the, excellent. Okay, so then, Tempest. yeah, so then the, the the four of you and Herrick. Yeah, he because he was outside with us. Right. Yes. So he, the five of you are able to sort of have this conversation sort of in yeah. the hall. To he just him. hasn't I, moved his token yet. I yeah, believe it was Imdra who first told us that the uh, the owner and proprietor of the White Trout is a uh, is a dragonborn that is a known worshiper of Oriel. Hmm. Well, that complicates things, doesn't it? Yes. Should... So if we're going there, we're going straight into the nest of this. Should we mention this to the captain when she gets here, or should we no, just say that we're trying to find uh, our party member? I Probably don't stick think with she the party needs member. Uh, I also... I don't think we can rule out if Zalvana was sneaking away without telling any of us where she was going and she was going to the wet trout. She could be involved. That's a gosh. Can I roll an insight? Absolutely. On that? You can. Same. <laughs> yeah. Same. Can we all? Now, in terms of rolling an insight on that, the, that would be so. Uh, yeah, you say you may all roll, uh, Professor. They'll be rolling against you. So, uh, puts me at a. Was that a? 
six. That's six total? Yeah. All right, so with the six total, I see the insight rolls from Herrick, Xander, Flynn. Oh, yeah, no, they all crushed it. Yeah, 15, <laughs> 9, 15, and 16. Well, well done, party members. So um, you see, as he sort of is starting to uh, spout this, uh, Nathan, uh, anything you wish to uh, uh, impart? I'll, I'll, I'll say my piece about the professor, if there's anything you wish to let them know. Yeah. Um, he's not outright being accusatory. He's yeah. There's no lie in what he says. Yes, mm-hmm. or at least uh, that he, he believes. Yes, he fully believes that it's a possibility. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say that you notice his his motions seem a bit. Uh, more frantic than the professor is typically used to doing, and anyone with a weather eye, uh, I would say Fariel with the 16, and of course, well, actually, I would say Fariel with the 16, but also Herrick and Flynn with the 15. Uh, you, you notice that the, he, on occasion, sort of involuntarily glances back to the statue in the corner, in the middle of the room. So, so I will just continue then, thinking that he's not lying, and if they want to overtop me, they can. Hmm. That, that I guess is possible, Professor. Just, but that's we can't rule it out. You're right, but I maybe shouldn't go into it thinking that. But but oh, you're right, of course. It it could be, and it could be that that becomes a boon to us. Um, yeah, if we have an inside person to the cult, we could probably suss out more information. Is there any check that I can do to see if he's under any curse effect or if he's being influenced by something? Mm, Medicine, a, maybe? A clericana check? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or medicine? Professor, are you feeling all right? I feel fine. You look a bit under the weather. I, I, I didn't sleep but, much last night. If, if that's what you mean. Worried. Does he sleep? I don't think so. No, no, no. They said he looks under the weather, and so I, I looked back and forth. Does he? I, I. Yeah. Just all right. Tired is all I imagine. I, so, I feel, I feel fine. Uh, you, Herrick, you still have your, uh, your, uh, sea invisibility. Yes. Yes. All right. So. Roll an Arcana check. Du, du, du. Can't really guide myself, can I? Not really. Would it help if I point to him? Like there he is. I'm just yeah, right. If he's, <laughs> yeah, obviously I've, I've, I've been made aware to it, but. No. Um, oh, oh, God, I hate you, digital dice. Yeah, a four. Trifling, trifling digital dice. So at, at, as you're, you're looking around at the professor, like something doesn't seem right about him, but you you, you can't. Uh, you can't, like, it, it, nothing seems wrong, but something's not right. And, and so, but you, you can't figure out either it's, like, it's, there's nothing invisible uh, attacking him, but uh, your arcana check is just, you, you can't quite figure out what the source of it is. Like, something's... Something's affecting him. You mentioned he was like kind of glancing over his shoulder at the statue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, can you say both I... uh, both Fariel, Flynn, and Herrick all saw him sort of do that. I can I just sort of casually make my way toward the statue and take another look at it? I was Absolutely. Gonna, I wanted to go there as well. And Herrick yeah. says, "Excuse me, I've just got something to do." Yeah, yeah, Herrick, I, I'll join you. I'll join you. Okay. I'll Be go. careful um, with that thing. So d- does that leave just the the professor and Xander in this little yeah. hallway here? Uh, so I believe so, right? It's just the professor yep. and Xander as I'm over there, and uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then Flynn is also in in that room. He kind of sees Herrick and Fariel pass by him. Flynn, are you moving to the professor? Or? I'll, uh, yeah, I'll I'll stay with the Xander, like uh, with the professor. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reach into my my pack and I'm gonna pull out. Uh, that that book that I found, uh, Professor. This is this is what I spoke of. It's uh, it seems to be a, a spell book, uh, maybe from the the, the Red Mage. Um, I, I 
uh, DM, would I know how, how warlocks do spells normally? Like, I know that they don't have spell books, but I have seen the professor with a spell book, right? I would think that with your experience and your knowledge of just magic and magic in the world around you, that you are aware of other disciplines not having to need a, a spell book or focus. And so you certainly would know that he wouldn't necessarily need a spell book per se, but that it still may be of interest to him. Mm. I uh, so I, I'm going to show it to him. I, say, I, I don't I don't know if 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 you can at all use them, but there 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 are a number of spells in here. Uh, you're, you're you're feel free to to take a look. I when we can get a little bit of downtime, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn a few things out of it. But um, if there's anything you can learn from it, you're welcome to to use so, yeah, it with he me. Starts flipping. I I I think there are indeed some. Some things that we can use in this, yes, I can make some sense out of out of these. To 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 meta for a moment, there are two uh, ritual spells in it. There's yeah. detect detect magic and illusory script. Okay. Because I think that's all you can take out of it, right? Or, or ritual yes, spells. Or ritual spells. Mm. Yeah, the, you can't take spells that are on the warlock list. Only ritual spells. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So it has detect magic and uh, illusory script in it that you can copy out. Okay. Um, we'll just have to find supplies somewhere. Yeah. Um, it's not cheap. Uh, DM and I have been working on something. Yeah. That's better than otherwise known raw. as the, the yeah otherwise known as the broke wizard uh, recording plan. Yeah. Um. Um. I have. All right. Excellent. So put a pin in that, gentlemen. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I've got stuff. Herrick, you Herrick. move towards the statue. We'll cut obviously with Fariel. And meanwhile, one second, uh, buddy, can you remove your phone? Can I remove your phone from my phone? Oh, my uh, that's me, my isn't it? Hang on. It is you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it? Here, here it is. <laughs> it's on silent. Get it out of here. Remove your it. Phone. And then for a second, I thought he meant your headphones, and I was like, no, is no, he no, no, keep no. something from? Ooh, are we in a from... secret secret? Yeah, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> no, no, no. I love it. Um, Harrick will walk up to the thing, and I was like, oh, I was going to do this a while ago, and um. Yeah. Did you did you notice the professor? Oh, he's acting kept, very kept, weird. He's talking yeah, to Ferial. He kept yeah, glancing back at this statue. Oh, I know, yes. And uh, unhinges his great maul and says, Ah, oh, Murdin, guide me. And just brings his maul up and then Are you sure? smashes it. Dwarves. <laughs> okay. Uh, whew. All right. Uh, roll, to, uh, roll to hit. And I believe it's with advantage as it's static. Uh, it, it is static. Yeah, and you, you, and you do have advantage on that. Uh, All right, a 19, 19 hit. will hit. Uh, more go against, ahead. What's it made of? And roll the damage. Yeah, it is made of a dark stone, one that you are not familiar with. It looks similar to slate, but there is a sort of a, a, an ominous quality to it. That's a eight bludgeoning. Eight bludgeoning damage. Okay, excellent. With that, doom is that uh, that eight bludgeoning? Doom, you take a little chunk off of it. Yeah, was that and, it? And uh, I'm sorry. I believe we've got our Zolvana yeah. back. <laughs> Lovely. And so as a uh, as 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 you hear this crack and it, like the smash and the chunk comes flying off, and then sure enough. Uh, uh, Xander, as you're sitting there talking to the professor, uh, this book and this, the door behind you opens up and hits you in the back, and Zalvana is standing there going, she goes, meow, meow. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we'll take our break. She says, oh, I've just been uh, for a drink, and she's sloshed. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll go ahead and be back uh, in, I believe, five minutes? Five minutes, yes. All right, five minute bio break, everybody, and we'll be back with the remainder of Town Hall in, Yeah. <laughs> Greetings, adventurers. Hello, I am the Friendly Neighborhood Dungeon Master, otherwise known as the FNDM, and we are back for Cold Hard Witch Hard Do. All right, so uh, Zalvana 
our bard has just walked her Asimar through the door. Uh, and uh, as she did that, the rest of the party was wondering just where she has been for the entire evening, having staked out the East Haven Town Hall from a potential Durgar threat. Um, Durgar threat? He said, questioningly. Um, <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, Herrick has decided to uh, remodel the town statue in the courtyard by taking a big old chunk out of it. There has been perception checks galore as the party tries to figure out just what is going on in East Haven Town Hall. Hopefully, Zelvana can shed some light on that. Ah, uh, hello. So she's walking in this north door right here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Apparently hitting me with the door. Yes. Uh, Hey, hey, pal. Where? What the fuck, man? We've been totally like hunting for you for for like two hours in this place. Aww. We have ripped every guard's butt from left to right here. Oh, you guys. Oh, yeah, I... yeah, yeah. It's pretty sweet, but but uh, where did you go? Well, I um, I didn't think you guys would miss me that much. I just I just kind of like I couldn't sleep, so I like you know I just I snuck out and. Um, they want to wake anybody up, and I went to the wet trout, and I was just, you know, wanting for some gossip, and uh, I found this, found this, uh, this guy at the at the wet trout, called Skythen, and uh, he gave me some some info. It was great. <laughs> I may have had a couple drinks. I'm sorry. What? Uh... Okay, now hold on. Now hold on. Did you bring enough for the rest of the class? I didn't. You guys want to go back? No, we we need to stay here till Imdra gets here. Come inside and then okay. and, and it, you need to rest a little bit. What 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 is happening? And and, well, and, and I'm gonna yell for Dax and I'm gonna yell for <laughs> Tempest in my mind at the same time. Or it's at that point that you you hear Sven in the other room is like, hey hey you can't you can't do that. He he can't do that. And he's coming down the steps to yell at Herrick who has just taken a chunk out of the. Uh, uh, out of the statue in the main courtyard. This thing is evil. And I'll swing it again. <laughs> Roll the head. He is, he is oh. right. It is it is evil. We're remodeling. That's fun. Uh, okay. Does anyone have um, 22? That's to a hit. Discover evil? Isn't there a sake. six damage? I can detect poison. <laughs> yeah, detect evil. Does anyone have detect evil? And no. a paladin thing. And with yeah. uh, six damage, another chunk comes off of it. <laughs> I will again yell for Dax, and in my mind, yell for Tempest. Uh, Tempest. Uh, what? 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 Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, pal, hey, pal of mine, watching everybody going in and out of the bar. Did you not? Maybe see Zavanna walking up to the north door, hitting me what? with, with, with the door. No, Did you... I, I was watching. I was watching the wet trout. You told me to watch the trout, and I'm watching the trout. She she said she came from the trout. Well, I, I she didn't. I didn't see her leave in the. I mean, I've only been here a, a little while. You you just talked to me, and and I mean, take some time to travel from here to there, and I I, I can't watch all the roads and. Okay. You told me to fly low and follow the tracks. That's okay. Dax! It's okay. Come back. Just come back. You, you good. You, and you're, all, you're all good. Come back. And he's like trying to like bring the coffee, but he's like spilling it. He's like, ah, ah, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I, was, I was sneaky. I'm a sneaker. Zofana, you, you are aware that people are being murdered in this town. Yeah. <laughs> I can take care of myself. It's at that point that Dax comes up. It's like, hey, he, he can't do that. You can't do that. He can. He, yes, he, he can. Got... yes, he can. Yes, he can. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Off to smash it, I go. What? Eighteen to hit. <laughs> at, stand back. Just stand. Just stand back. At, as all of the smashing is going on, I'm still like chewing, chewing on Dax a little bit. So this is our friend Zavanna, who you just you she slipped right past you. You were asleep. Did, did you did you charm him? You didn't charm him, did you? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, this is who you let out. You can't just be letting people out of here, man. She's beautiful. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Mm. She also needs some of that coffee. 
Yeah, she for sure needs some coffee. Uh, can oh, you, you, can, can you smell can, the uh, ale? <laughs> More importantly, Zalvano, what did you find out? Uh, well, Dex, can you come back to the store over here? Uh, well, thank I, you. No, she wants her coffee. Should I give her yeah, the coffee? Yeah, give her the coffee. That, that'd be great. That'd be, <laughs> thank that, you. That'd be awesome, pal. Here's, here's your mug. I love you. I've got to eat some coffee. <laughs> 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 Th thanks, Dax. Dax. Thanks, Dax. Dax. Th thanks, right. Dax. Did you, want, here's your, did you want a cup, sir? Uh, 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 Herrick will. Well, when here, I'll take Herrick's cup when he's finished. Well, no, smashing. he really can't be smashing that. Yes, thing. he can. Oh, yes, yeah, he's, can. he's not. He's not. Don't sweat it. He's not. Um, but he, there's two chunks right there on the floor. What is No, there's not. 11, Keep walking, Dax. 11 damage. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I mean, hey, everything will be fine. And then as he does that, like two more guards come up from uh, come from the front doors. Like, what, what's happening? Someone's cracking something up. What's is everything all right? What's hey, going on up here? And I pull uh, rank on all the guards. Like, I know I'm Ooh. not a guard here, but I am like a knight. Like, like, well, my order like level is like of a knight, so I know how to talk to guards and or soldiers. So I want to pull rank on all the guards in the room right now. Ooh, all right, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm gonna let you roll intimidation. Or uh, is there a command feature? I don't... Per persuasion or intimidation? Persuasion, because that's a plus three. So persuasion easy. with advantage because of your because of your rank. All right? Nice. All right. So persuasion with advantage. Don't don't fuck up. <laughs> it's a fifty. Uh, you know what? Um, uh, it's, uh, I'm gonna use my use uh, inspiration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> use that D six. Um, I no. Have I need you, to. Have you got a D six? Have you got a D6 or is your inspiration? No, I have a 12 or, or, or a 20. I have a 20. You've already, so ro you've already rolled an advantage. You've already rolled an advantage. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, you cannot advantage the advantage. At that point, it's a disadvantage <laughs> and there's no advantage to it. All right. <laughs> so, uh, but with a 15, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's just let's, let's see what these chumbawambas. Uh, yeah. No, they're blessed. Not. Thank yeah, you. No, you, <laughs> you so, like, uh, so Rodney. Uh, as Flynn, <laughs> fling, fling them words for me if you'd be so kind. Town guards, listen up. I don't know what everyone's doing in this room here. We've got an entire town hall to guard, but I don't like the look of it. The statue is evil, so it's getting smashed. You, back up there. You two, back to the front door. If I see anyone not at a post, not at a post, I swear to God, I'm ripping every single ass in here. And the, the p bits and pieces of you left will have to explain to Indra what the fuck went wrong here tonight. Back to your post. Sure, yes, sir. And then, no. uh, oh, where was I based? Oh, that's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of hot. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's Zelvana or Madeline talking. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Zelvana or Xander talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in character, sir. Nobody can see it, but Fariel is just like grinning. She. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's in the eye. Maya with your eyes. Harry's now going then, for his pack. He's like, well, you know, he's just hit it for like 25 damage. <laughs> well, maybe the pickaxe will work. It's stone oh, yeah, after nice. all. Um, uh, do, does he, Dax, who's kind of like realizes that he doesn't actually have a post? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, just, I, 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 I'm gonna go from the since since Flynn just one upped like three upped me on the the butt chew invoice. I'm gonna go back into my friendly pal voice. Uh, <laughs> hey uh, hey Dax, if you could come back to the store and uh, and make sure it's bolted and, and guarded, that that'd be super. That, that'd be. I'm gonna go find out what's going on with Herrick and yeah, what no, the yeah. smash you smash is about. Hey, thanks for the coffee, pal. Thanks. No, you you yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now, now get it. Flynn's not playing, so you should. Get, oh yeah, get, no, no. Get back to that door before he. Uh, I've seen it's butts every like pieces of butts everywhere. I've seen it. It's it's not no, good. I don't. I don't want. I don't want my butt talking for me. All right. Walks, moves back to the door, and you hear the door <laughs> like latch, and then it's. He... I'm gonna look at him and go. And as, as I as I pass Flynn in uh, in Elvish, I'm just gonna say, "You cheeky bastard! That was <laughs> that was brilliant." I'm like, it's been a time since I had to be at a garrison and yell some newbies, but it's been fun. Uh, All right, so Herrick, you reach into your pack 
I use my war pick as he's is because obviously dwarves use their weapons as tools, which is why I yeah, went for oh. a war pick. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. <clears throat> do I think that will do any more damage to a stone? Uh, I say uh, yeah. not any more than uh, your maul was doing. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, and that 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 eleven bludgeoning was pretty choice. So. But it is a stone structure, and so you are just going to have... Like, if you're looking to smash it, it's not just going to magically, like, blow apart. Oh, okay. I would hit it again for 20. Oh, and you sure will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maximum oh. 15 damage. <laughs> do lang, do lang, do lang. Oh, building up a sway. All right, so, like, as you hit it, as you hit it that time, like, a solid crack kind of appears off of, like, a good, like, third of it and just starts to sort of, and, like, starts to break off a little bit. So this thing's, this thing's taking damage. All right, so, still standing, though. So, uh, I'll continue. How's the it. professor acting as this statue's getting damaged? No, I'm trying to talk to Zalvana and figure out what she learned and why exactly she left. And here it keeps smashing that damn statue while I'm trying to talk to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> great percussion. It's great background, uh, background noise. Right? Right, yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell us a story. I just, I, I just think the statue's evil. If he wants to destroy it, that's fine. I just want him to be careful. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that being said, Silvana, what the heck did you figure out? <laughs> So, all right. So, I'm talking I'm talking to this like awesome drunken tiefling. Like dude is hilarious. And <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, Herrick, with that last hit, like it's and that crack that you put down the center of it just drives to the floor. This thing looks as if like a stiff breeze would knock it over. Awesome. And, you know, he's telling me that in Care Conic? Mm hmm. Yes. Sorry. I can spell it. Can't remember how to pronounce it. Nope. Care Conic. Care Conic. <laughs> so, you know, apparently a bunch of like vandals have like kind of taken to that area and they're just like hanging out, saying hey, doing shady stuff. And the speaker, who's like this dragonborn, Trovus, is like, looking to catch him. And as this last hit lands, like the thing just <laughs> and the, like the stones go skittering across the floor. I need Herrick, Feriel, uh, Professor, are you where you're at on the map? Um, no, if Zalvana's there, then I would be next to Zalvana. Okay, cool, then I just need uh, Herrick and Feriel to make a dex saving throw. Nice. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think my guide is gonna love going those stream wide. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it, it's trifling dice. It was on yeah, the twenty. So do you have Do you have your inspiration still or no? I do, but I don't think that's gonna make a difference. So. F so Fario came in with a 16 on that deck save. However, uh, Herrick scored a one with his negative one to his dex roll. So he actually, <laughs> so, um, but wasn't with, it that I, one? It, yeah, least. wasn't it that one? Wasn't it that one? So, but with that one, uh, Herrick, I need you to roll a, give me a charisma saving throw. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Save yourself from charm. <laughs> work, work. You, 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 oh, I, I am. That's not bad. I have got guidance you on me, so I will use that as well. Bastard. Oh, no, no. So the, the oh, you, 16 enough, is it? Okay. Yeah, the 16 is enough. So uh, <laughs> as you, so as 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 one of the rocks, so as you take that final smash, boom, Fariel just dodges out of the way of it. But one of the rocks comes and like just goes ahead and glances you in the arm, and you actually see the little shard of it stick in to your arm. And as it sticks into your arm, you feel this like like this sort of cold grasp, try to take a hold of your mind. And as you do that, you go, Bleh, flick, and you knock the <laughs> I was about to say exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you knock the shard out of your arm, and that, that, that seems to be the end of it. There we go. 
Herrick, are you all right? <laughs> I feel good. That, that Bit of a sweat on, but I might need to sit down for a little while. Herrick is one of us now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, are you wounded from where it stuck into you? It was a splinter, Zonda. I, I, oh. I might need a tourniquet and maybe sew my arm back on. Hmm. And in in dwarf under my breath, I'll say, asshole. <laughs> oh, I was so, a twenty in sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> so as Zalvana finishes her tale to the professor, yeah. So, so really, all I'm saying is that if we want to go to Care Conig and help Trovis with these, you know, delinquents. Be kind of fun, right? Like we can catch some interlopers. Do some do some fun. Uh yeah, I mean it, that's the yeah. only reason why you went to the wet wet trout. I wanted gossip, okay? And I've, and gossip the white, I got. The white lady is not a place for gossip. I mean, we were at the White Lady. The only thing we're gonna get there is a seance. Hey, and then that we had, and then cool. And then we had to kill it the was. chick that we talked to. Right. We had a bad experience. Um, Did you see anything odd or out of place at the wet trout? Not that I know of. Everyone was just, you know, drunk and drunk. How was the owner? You've got an awful lot of questions, Professor. He always has a lot of questions. <laughs> it's my business but, to ask questions. <laughs> well, you know, it was it was it was a bar. People were drinking. I didn't notice anything crazy out of you know, out of ordinary. Good. And I don't think I I didn't see the owner to be honest. Uh, I think she was. Uh, Maybe entertaining someone else or just in the back or I don't know. So, uh, I will say that it would have been very hard to miss uh, a Nymeter Myskin, who is a white dragonborn. Uh, exactly. So, yeah. So while while you saw her obviously tending bar like she does, um, she, nothing seemed to miss. At, she, like Just like every other bar owner, you know, she, you know, uh, though, if you want to, Zilvana, roll me a perception check. Indeed. I know how to do that. Try <laughs> to remember. Uh, it's like it's in alphabetical order. Okay, cool. Yeah, you okay. got it. You got it. <laughs> Click that P. So roll that D. Word. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Did I roll the D? Right? You rolled that, <laughs> roll that, roll roll that crit D. <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, that with a 26 critical uh, roll of, on your perception, you absolutely can zero in. And while nothing seemed to miss, you had eyes on the entire bar the whole time. Granted, your vision started to blur a little bit towards the end, but you fine. Um, you did, however, notice that um, she was wearing the snowflake uh, uh, emblem that is uh, a follower of the Frost Maiden. And made uh, no small remarks about how the rhyme was certainly a, a, a blessing brought upon the people to harden them against the true North. Oh, yeah. Do I do I tell do I tell the professor this, or is it just common knowledge? Or common? Well, no. So that is that is what your memory pulls. You okay. may share that with the party if you wish. All right. So with regards to the owner. You know, she was tending bar, and I did see her wearing the lovely snowflake necklace. I'm gonna pull the one out of my out of my pack, one like this. Exactly. Just kind of going. And I, and I will share an eye with the professor when I do that, and I'll put it back away. Yeah. She's kind of, you know, talking some trash about how the rhyme is to weed out the the weak ones. You know, the true northerners will be able to. Wait out the frost, you know. Hmm. That sort of stuff. Little strong will survive shenanigans. 
Correct. What, what's the name of the guard that's up on the, the by the crane gantry? My name's Sven. Guard in the Corner. <laughs> Sven. His name is Sven. 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 That's hey, that's me. Hey, hey, Sven. Is there a uh, is there a push broom around here? Um, Dax, where's my coffee? Oh God. Uh, y- m- maybe. Yeah. And then Dax is like, I, I was told to guard the door. Yeah, no, da, da, Why, Dax. Does, does, wait, does does Zavanna need more coffee? No, no, no. Does Zavanna's good, Dax? You're, I'm you're good, Dax. You're things. doing you're doing super good, Sven. I I kind of need you to to find us a, a a push broom if you could, pal. I mean, this is a fucking mess down here. Imda's not gonna be happy with this. No. Oh no. No no no. We should um uh, push. So do you want me to? Should I? But the door is. You should hurry. Uh, you know what? We're we're here. Coming. We're here. We're watching that right. door. Yeah, that that yeah. door is okay. Find us a push room if you could. No. Yeah. 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 And like Sven, like uh, <laughs> Dax goes ahead and like tries. So gets himself out of this. Cor- Excuse me. Pardon me. And no. Like, no. D- Dax. Dax. What? You're on. What? You're you're on the door. Oh. Well, I thought I should. I mean, because Zavanna doesn't she need to? No. No. Zavanna's Zavanna's fine. Dax. Do you, do you want me to bring Flynn back over? That's not going to be good. I just stare. I like my butthole. Ew. <laughs> I I I know you do, Dex. So, put it against the door and and guard the door, and it and you 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 will be fine. You'll be fine. Burns puts his butt against the door and just stares down the hallway. Dude, I, I ain't got a kill. <laughs> uh, so do you want me to get the broom? I'm Sven. Yes, Sven, get the goddamn push broom. Three right, times no, I've asked you was, now. I'm just not going to be happy with this. You were talking to Dax. I was, okay. And the coffee. God. So, broom and coffee? No, just go get the broom. Okay. And, bring some, and bring some coffee back. Did you just sit? Oh. And he no. goes to the door. Hmm. <laughs> 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 And as he Wait, starts uh, that, I'll start using thermaturgy firm- to start blowing all the shards into the corner. <laughs> Doesn't need a fucking broom. <laughs> all right, so what corner are you blowing all the shards to, my friend? An empty one. Uh, okay, excellent. So uh, you kind of like, you're pushing them over here to this yeah. corner, which is like underneath the stairs a little bit. So I love it. It comes back <laughs> and I've done it already. All right. So, my friends, um, at this point, <laughs> uh, were you just uh, reading the chat? Yeah, yeah. I'm just. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, just I'm glad I caught that in time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, um, so as the uh, shards are getting pushed by thaumaturgy and whatnot, it's about oh. this time that the the new shift is coming in. So this is now six o'clock. Um, you're about two hours away from Imdra showing up. Uh, anything you guys wish to try to figure out in the next two hours, or you wait until Imdra shows up? Did I know that there was some sort of feeling that happened when the shard touched me or entered my skin? If you sort of you said you I definitely heard it, knew. You, like you're you're versed enough in your magics to know when something's trying to attack you, mm-hmm. or at least seize hold of you. And because you were able to sort of shrug it off, like you, it's easy for you to sort of be like, eh, it's all right. But if you want to try to figure out what it was, give me an arcana check. Hey, uh, not bad. That's, uh, 15, now, not I, bad. now we'll use that D4. There it is. There it is. There's that, there's that so guidance that you can 19. use. 19. Nicely done. Okay, so with that, you knew that there was, in fact, some sort of uh, curse that was working its way uh, into your heart as, as it was trying to sort of wrap no, yourself around the fears uh, that the statue sort of emanates. The statue had a sense of dread and ominous nature and really sort of, like, all the guards tend to stay the hell away from it. In fact, they don't even bother to look at it. They're just kind of like, nope, not real, not real, not real. So this... You know for a fact that in coming to contact with it, bad things will happen. I look to the professor. Professor, take a sleep. Take a sleep. A sleep. A seat. Take a sleep. And he hits him over the head. <laughs> <laughs> take a seat. It's time for your over 60s medical. I, right here? In the middle of the room? What are you talking about? We don't want to be here for that. Do you want to go into the office maybe for that? 
No. I'm. I assure you, I'm fine, Herrick. Thank you. Is um, he actually a doctor? Let me check you over at least. Yeah, yeah. He's he's our he's our our, our cook, our doctor, our defender. He's uh. Our trapper. Our trapper. Yes. Oh, okay. He's very talented. Tra- trapper yeah. keeper. <laughs> I like it. I'm not even mad about it. All right. <laughs> So where, where did all the shards get put? I'm sorry, I was. So the, uh, I was... sorry, the shards are put down here in the, like okay. under the staircase. Yeah, in the, the southeast s- corner. Safely, safely ensconced though. Like no yeah, one's yeah, no sure. no one's gonna be yeah. accidentally touching or picking pieces up or anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And can I do a medical back. check on him? Absolutely, you can do a medical to check. To see you. if he is um, cursed. I will yeah, guide really? guide myself again. Oh, no, I can't. How often can you do guidance? Is it continuously on someone? I mean, once you, uh, once you burn, it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Once you burn yeah. it, you can. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it. I've used it, but I didn't know. You... Once, but making it better. Okay, I've been playing Pathfinder Two, where you can't do it on yourself again after like ten minutes. But uh, medicine, I will guide myself and then do a medicine check on him for a twenty-one. Nicely done. I want. Might as well use the guidance as well for 22. Okay, so uh, with that 22 uh, medicine check, um, the, the, something is amiss. And in fact, um, on the professor's hand, there seems to be a, a mark where the veins in his fingers have sort of gone a very, very deep purple. And sort of, it's sort of like dra- draws itself up his fingers and into his palm and all the way up his arm, and it sort of disappears under his uh, his robe. But like the vein seems uh, like uh, just to sort of pulse in a sort of a slow creeping. I point out the the dull color to the skin where it's sort of thing. yeah oh. it, it almost looks like a bruise but a bruise in his vein I'm afraid you've got some sort of curse look and I'll point it curse. out to him explain it to him I, I, I'm sure we're all hearing this at, mm-hmm. at this point DM yeah uh, is is this as long as, as long as Herrick's saying this out loud and you guys he are is all... yeah is this Sven over here that just don't came back don't be preposterous I'm not cursed when that thing hit my skin I felt it well, yes, I felt it too. I touched it. It's evil, certainly. Yes. It has, but. So do you guys want me to? Look. So okay, is, 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 rocks, it, is, is this is this Sven right here? Yeah. Should I? Right, I, I? I'm gonna I'm gonna come over to him. I I have a one on one with him, but I'm gonna let them play out first. All right. What? I brought yeah. the broom. Okay. Yeah. And so, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, right. look, look at the veins, colors. Look at the difference yeah, I, where your wound is. It's not healing properly. Yeah, I bruised it. I must have hit it on a door or something. I see you as an intelligent man, Professor. Intelligent, wise. Not foolish. Yes. Yes. I've gave you I, your I wound. Don't, I don't see that I'm the one being foolish here, Eric. Well, you're just in denial. It's, it's okay. I've... I've told you what it is. Um, I'm Can you afraid cure him? I don't have that power yet. Is Sven nearby? Sven, I, if Sven is next to me, uh, mm-hmm. so I, I'm gonna. So, look. Apparently, the statue that creeped you out when you walked by it, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Totally has some some evil heebie-jeebie shit in it. We have we have packaged it all kind of under the thing here. I need you to make sure that no one, no one, touches the stone that it's made from. We have no idea what it is, but it definitely has some cursed magics on it. So, is that uh, something you can protect everyone from? Is not letting anyone touch it? Yeah. God. Yeah. How do we? Should we? Just, I mean, what do we? Okay, yeah. Let's let's uh, let's talk to the captain when she gets here on the best way to get rid of it, because we don't want to just throw it out where someone else could be, could be hurt by it. So, it, can can you for now make sure that 
no one guards moving in the new guard change any of that stuff no one gets around it of course yeah no 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 uh, no I'll, I'll 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 put myself uh, he sort of positions himself like he starts to move towards it and it's like oh you know and puts himself like halfway towards it. it's like all right i'll i'm i'm here yeah of course thank you no thank you will toll the dead get the curse out of him about as much as my mole will <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> like in the same way that like I guess if you're dead, like curses don't hurt. You. <laughs> How about firebolt? Will that burn it out of him? All right, so we'll we'll need to find some some remove curse at some point. Um, Herrick, how much do you know about curses? We only studied a bit back when I was a young acolyte. I'm just wondering how many people may have come into contact with this statue and been cursed by it. Who knows? There could be people all over East Haven cursed. Well, that's true, but but I uh, Sven did say that the statue definitely gave up a creepy vibe and most folks gave it a wide berth, so... Well, we've seen that... this stone, haven't we? It was the same as a dog or as darts as well. Is that, wanna... is that true? I believe yeah, so. but it's the same stone as the darts, yeah. Yeah. But we, you were all able to handle the darts and not be affected? Uh, as far as I know, the professor is the only one who has handled the darts. So, oh, yeah. I, I guess I thought that, that, <laughs> that uh, Herrick had given the darts to you. Oh, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I remember I tried to, I, I made a roll on the darts as well. Back back when we picked them up and we looted them. Uh, Feriel, maybe you should go downstairs and ask our friend what he knows. If he has darts made from it, he may know how to, something how to, how to yeah, uh, something about the stone, how to cure its effects or something, or maybe at least even the extent of the effects. Yeah, do, so you suspect that the, the curse comes from the stone itself and not this statue in particular? Uh, I don't know, but no idea. Maybe our, I mean, our friend will know it's something. When the st when the rock stuck into Herrick, he he felt something try to invade him. So yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, hey. Flynn, you want to join me? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come with you. Um, before we go down, hey Herrick, uh, how how on the sly can you can you like check for this curse? Well, I just asked the professor to sit down, and but it all depends. Well, I'm just We're wasting our time here. <laughs> well, well, hold on. Im Imdra and the speaker have been in and out of this place for who knows how long, right? And have been the epicenter of a lot of the going on through here. They could be cursed as well. You know, that could could be clouding someone's judgment. It's why they got, they got attacked twice in the same place. I, I right. think that's a good idea, but I don't know that doing it surreptitiously is the best. They already distrust magic, so we should be upfront about it, I think. Professor, we uh, we we completely value you, and we think that your bruise will need attention at some point. If you could just tell us if it gets worse, but uh, we're we're not gonna box you up or anything. You're still you're still one of us, and I will actually hold my hand out to in a, in like a handshake style. Thank thank you. Oh, and I'll and I'll shake his hand. Just, we're not against you. Just know that. Great. Can we move on now? To the basement! <laughs> to the ba- no. Yes, to the basement. Stand aside, we Dax. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah, uh, of course, Captain, of course, of course. And at that moment, Indra comes walking through the north gate with a guard behind her. What? What in the hell? As she sees the statue is shattered in front of her, it's like. What well, the technically, crap? the statue is gone and in a pile under the stairs. What well, a big space in here! Imagine what you could do with it. Can uh, something can, happen? Who'd can attack? we can can we chat in in the in your office or the speaker's office? Of course, of course. I'm not sure which office she's as, going to. As right, Flynn's so going down the stairs, she's like, Harrick's sort of thinking, 
Oh yeah, Flynn. Mm. Bottom of the stairs. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't even see this trap. It had <laughs> sand on it. <laughs> uh, is the All captain right. there? I don't see her. She is. I think she's actually under Zolvana. Oh. Ah, well, that makes sense. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, so I moved. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor. Yeah. <laughs> I moved. There was no one under under me. Oh, goodness gracious. Hmm. Yeah, she gone. Oh, she, she's she's down by the name tags. Oh, good God. How'd she get down there? All right, so. She, she's the teleporting wizard. No, all right. Yikes. <laughs> no, all right, so, uh, Captain, it's Dax, eyes on the door. And you as well. So we, uh, the, so, the, the, the statue definitely giving off creepy vibes. We think that at least one of our party may have a curse effect from it. Uh, it tried to curse another one. And being that this is open to the town public, some of us took it upon ourselves. And I will, I will not look at Herrick, but I will glance in his direction to solve that problem. Yo, well. Um, the uh, having a cursed object out in the middle is probably not something that, that you're that you're looking forward to. But no one attacked? Or uh, did the statue come to life? Like, why was it? Uh, no, but just being in its its close presence, it, it apparently was giving everyone the heebie-jeebies. No, you're not wrong there. It, um... The the uh, I I have asked uh, Sven. We pushed all the stone under the stairs. I've asked Sven to not let anyone near it, not knowing what you wanted to do, how you wanted to dispose of it. It it must be taken seriously, I would think, so that no town folks come into contact yeah. with it. Oh, of course, of course. If it, gosh, if there's any way we can get rid of it, cast it into the lake, or uh, have you ever touched it? No, we were given specific instructions by the former Speaker Whalen never to touch it. The party that brought it in is, said it was some sort of totem of some sort, but they... It, no, I, I've, I've, I've heeded the warning that the Speaker passed on, but I, I'm so sorry about your friend. Who Are they all right? Do they need assistance? I, I, I think it's fine. We uh, we, we don't have any, any remove curse at the moment, but... Uh... But everything seems fine, and and we'll we're, we're gonna get that get that taken care of. Um, so you you yourself have never touched it. What about Speaker Prudence? So she seems to be at the epicenter of a lot of things. I, I don't know if someone's targeting her, or maybe the the magics were calling things to her. Or I mean, no, nothing of the sort. What, if I may ask, like what seems to be the uh, affliction that your friend was suffering from. Everyone roll a perception check. I have a bruise, and they believe it's a curse. Um, how a long bruise. is the by, DM? Oh, 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 oh. I... oh, my goodness, that is a nat one for me. Do I still have invisibility I, up, I... or is that gone by now? Uh, it's, it's an hour, so yeah, it's gone by now. Yeah. Oh, natural one as well. Oh my god. Zolvana <laughs> saves the day. Ladies and gentlemen, it, it, it's all coming back to play. Oh, Fairy, are you, are you, not, are you not in the room? She's no, downstairs. Flynn and I are going Flynn. downstairs. That's right, you're downstairs with Flynn. All right, uh, so, uh, Zolvana, you notice that there is uh, uh, apparently a, a, looks like a creature back in the cage now. So the way in which the cage in the corner was, if any of you remember that, um, it, it's- Par just, oh, Pardon? Yeah, so there. You've is... never mentioned that cage in the corner of the room before. Sure did. Uh, we can stop, and I can go back to the, oh, the, you... the former streams. <laughs> you can you can check the tape, friends. Um, so uh, last game, I mentioned an empty cage in the corner. You did. Currently in the cage, there is what appears to be a, a small uh, winged snake. The only one to notice it, however, is uh, Zolvana. It uh, so Captain. It seems is like a like some sort of deep vein bruising of some kind. Where it, as as far as how, how they've been acting, it seems fine. But 
we don't know if it's a progressive vein disease or or, or what. So it's, right, but is, is there some sort of madness or a, a, or a dementia or mm, um, no more than normal? I mean, it's hard it's, to tell. He's an older gentleman, so who knows? Uh, I see. So mm. he's got a bruise on his hand. Yes. I'll take a and look. Does it look like a normal bruise to you? Cursed? I mean, she can see that it seems to run up his veins, yeah? Oh, God. You no, know, yeah. that's not... That's not good. Like, I, I, I've i seen well, and, before, Professor. That is not a bruise. Well, and that's... Really, that, that, he knows better. That's, that's why we're going to find something to 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 fix but but the professor seems just as he always has so i don't know if i need to bluff that or not um dm i mean he kind of seems like he always has but in terms of well he's just a little more irascible now than he has been so i don't know if that's from him staying up all night reading right right it's yeah it's yeah it's so it's, yeah no it's he's it's it's very subtle whatever it is I'm going to lean over to Herrick and be like, hey, look at that cute little dragon winged thing in the cage. Uh -oh. Isn't that cute? Uh, what is it? Was that there before? Uh, no. It's cute. I want to pet it. <laughs> well, since I don't hear that because you whispered it to him, I'm just going to keep talking shit to Imdra, like making shit up until she... <sighs> oh. Comes back all right, all right. So, the, so you believe the professor to be cursed? That is troubling enough. But w was there an attack? Did, did anyone try to get into the town hall tonight? No, no. Overall, it's been a quiet night. Though we will say that while your guards mostly did good at keeping doors locked, they seem to not think that the l double loading door was a uh, was a problem. And the professor did find that one of those doors was completely unlocked and unbarred. <sighs> And there was some sort of disturbance at the bottom, but we didn't see evidence of anyone gaining entry. Oh, damn it! Who was it? Who was on guard? A uh, guard in the corner. It's a guard in the corner. I, I, I'm not sure. We've just uh, we we met Dax, and I've just recently met Sven and told him to to guard the rocks. And so I, I'm not exactly sure who it was, but right. I will check with the, the I will check with the captain who is on uh, the the. the I'll check with the sergeant who was on watch tonight and, and I will find out who left that door open or whose watch it was. And rest assured. We uh we, we have yep. visited we've visited him a few times. The prisoner still seems secure. We've laid sand down to see if anyone invisible was coming in. Oh brilliant. There's oh, a man Herrick's man trap is at the bottom of the stairs, just just in case. But the, the sergeant said that everything had been fine all night. What? So I don't know if that bodes well or not, honestly, Captain. Well, we're here, and it is the next day, and aside from... It is, but it makes me think that there are people after you and after the speaker, not after the town hall. And that's troublesome in its own right. Who's this little cutie? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm moseying over to, to Xander, because I was like... You know, hey, hey, did you see the like little flying dragon thing over there uh, in the corner? Oh, that, is that that's Prudence's. Um, oh, what the hell? Uh, it's a, a flying snake. It's uh, she, it's her pet. Uh, she occasionally uses it to send messages to the other town. Uh, surprisingly hardy damn things. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, which which one is that? What color? Uh, green. Um, that one is emerald. Oh. Original. Oh, I love emeralds. How how does it get in and out? Oh, there's a uh, so the if you, she goes ahead and, and just kind of shows you the top of the cage has sort of a springed hatch on it that once the snake pushes through the hatch then springs back up to seal it. Mm -hmm. That way the snake wouldn't be able to push its way out from the top, but that it can come in through the um through the window. So it wasn't there yesterday. Uh, it was wait, not there yesterday. No. Wait. Like, Wait, 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 wait. We, we spent all night here. I, I'm sorry if I sound like an asshole here, Captain, but we spent all night with the doors barred and guarding things, and there are things that just traips in and out through the windows. What? Message sending snakes that go in and out of the windows. It's Prudence's snake. I mean, it's, it just com comes in through her window there. Ha has it occurred to you that other snakes message sending things familiars all sorts of shit can come in and out of a window 
So your prisoner could have been sending messages through any number of creatures is is what you're saying. And, and, I, and, I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna and I'm I'm leaving the room at that point. No, the creature would have to get through uh, all the way past the guards. There's there's one outside his door. It, I mean, the, this window here in this room that it comes in and out. But the but the door itself, like it'd have to get through the Do door. Do your guards typically stop and accost every mouse or sparrow that they encounter? And as I'm walking out, you know what, DM, as I'm walking out and I throw the door open, is Dax still there at the at the north door? Sir! Dax, did Feriel find you asleep in the middle of the night last night? Be honest. Yes. There you go, Captain. And I will, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to come in here into this room and I'm going to sit in that chair. <laughs> oh. She going to fucking flex on me. I'm flexing right back on her. Can I can I pet the snake? <laughs> Whoa. He's you gotta buy cute. Me, you got to buy me dinner first. You just she looks she she, she kind of looks at you Herc, like and then she walks out uh, of Prudence's office and then glares at Dax and then heads down into the dungeon uh to speak to uh the sergeant. Savannah, still didn't get my coffee. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so Wallace had six cups by now. They just meanwhile, keep her. Yeah. meanwhile in the dungeon, Feriel, Flynn. Uh, yeah, um, we're gonna take the time to to move past Eric's trap to get to um the Durga cage and the guard by it. Okay. Roll me a roll me an acrobatics. Oh, uh, be kind to me, dice. Come on, you do. <laughs> yeah, come on, you two. Natural one. Natural one. Oh, 17. Oh, <laughs> he's a crow. <laughs> yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes. My and so, precious. Oh, as, no. As Flynn, like, dexterously just like, do, 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 like, works his way down the steps. Fariel, you wind up putting your foot right into that. You bear trap. <laughs> so, oh, no. our incredibly dexterous rogue, ladies and gentlemen, with a yeah, one. yeah. Uh, um, Herrick rolled damage, unfortunately. Well, so dex, th <laughs> dex thirteen save first. No, oh, yeah. So dex thirteen to see if you actually. So it, you, you step in it, it goes off. Uh, see if you get yourselves out of it. And there it is with the dex eighteen. You like you somehow like the sand like catches your heel <laughs> as you go off that last step, and you go whoop whoop, and you step on it, and as you step into it. Right as it starts to release, you do a cartwheel out of it and then sort of like get yourself back up to standing. So the guard standing there, the sergeant just kind of sees you fall, land, flip, come right back up and you're boom, right in front of him. He's, oh, jeez, holy, did you just set that trap off? On purpose, oh, yeah, God. of course you did. <laughs> I mean, no. Zavana, did you hear that? No, it was so heck. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm not touching that thing. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Can I... Okay, can I help you? No, we just need to see the prisoner. Uh, right down this way. And the, he'll go ahead and walk with you down. You know, there is a guard stationed out, right outside his door. And uh, he's in there. And then sure enough, sitting in the corner is Klaska just... What's the matter? Not happy to see me? I don't like that. I don't know what he's saying. And he's always sitting there with that smug ass look on his face. I don't like it. And under common, he says to you, Feriel, I'll be happy to see your insides. I don't think that'll be happening anytime soon. Um, anyway, your dogs. What can you tell me about them? How close is he? Uh, so the the cell is ten feet deep. He is on the back wall. Draw an arrow. Oh, <laughs> the guard and the sergeant. Whoa, 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 whoa. hey, hey, hey. Oh, while she draws an and arrow. <laughs> Like I'm gonna, before they can like stop me, I'm gonna fire it. I don't want to hit him, 
I want to hit near him. Okay, okay. Uh, roll me. Uh, uh, roll me an attack roll. Don't roll a one. <laughs> he's, he said. I mean, he's a Dur- he's a Durgar. Roll a one if you want. I mean, <laughs> I mean let's be honest, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. With the nine, like it doesn't go. Like it, it goes where you want it to go, and you see, like it it hit the stone and it like the you, the the point of it just sparks and, tsh, and, he, and he's I like, draw another one and just pull it back. Just survive. He's like crazy bitch, what are you doing? The darts. And it's, they're they're a weapon. They just like, the stone that they're made out of, what is it? <laughs> Have a little trouble with your friends? No. Hmm? Yeah. Chardolin has that effect. What? Chardolin. Chardolin. What is it? It is the power that will make sun blight burn ten towns to the ground. Where does it come from? It's a stone. Yeah, a stone comes from the ground, you know, mined somewhere. Do I need to find another one? He gets up and he walks like and puts himself right in front of the arrow and says shoot your shot. Ooh, um I want to do something. <laughs> oh, oh good. <laughs> oh, oh, good. <laughs> oh, Everyone, good. Flynn has an idea. <laughs> good idea. Um oh, as he cuz like I don't know what he's saying, but that body language doesn't read good to me, so I want to pull uh, a rod, a one-inch rod from like my, from my belt, and um, place it up against the bar of like uh, of the cell. Because uh, if he's locked eyes with her, he's I don't. I'm gonna kind of roll aside a hand to like put the bar, the rod that I have on the bar in front of Feriel, pointed at the Dragar walking towards her. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, putting the bar on the thing in front of Feriel, pointed towards the Dragar. Yes. Okay. Uh, roll, roll, slide a hand. See if he, uh, see if he misses it, or, or doesn't see it. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Twenty, dirty twenty. A dirty twenty yes. will absolutely do it. Yeah, well done. All right, so you're able to position that, and he's like, "Shoot your shot." Ooh. <laughs> Flynn, he's asking me to shoot him. What do you think I should do? I'll shoot it for you, and I say ten. And I have an extending pole, and I <laughs> want to use it as a tension rod um, to to go the length of the room to pin him up against the wall, um, so he can't move. Nice, nice. I love it. <laughs> so, <boom. laughs> ah. and so sure enough, he's pinned up against the wall. I'm gonna have him roll a deck save to see if he can get away from it. He's a Durgar though, so they ain't exactly dodgy. And with oh, a two, oh, he, they they dodgy, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and with a two, he definitely ain't dodgy enough, so he is pinned to the wall. Yeah. So, you sure that's all you know? Yes. What happened to your friends, your rescue party? Why are you still here? <laughs> You're just such wonderful hosts. Or maybe your friends don't care about you quite as much as you think they do. We'll see. I think that's all we're getting out of him, Flynn. All right. And I'll uh, I'll tell Flynn what he just told me about the Chardolin and all that. It's like Chardonnay, but it's Chardolin. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, I don't like the sound of any of this. And I'll say one to collapse the stats, bed down to 
It's one foot, natural state. If you're going to shoot at a prisoner, could you give us a heads up next time? Why, right, so you can try to stop me? What? I just... Well, no, but... What, what would it have changed about anything that you would have done? Well, I could have said something. Sergeant was like, don't, don't worry about it. They're, it's, you're fine, kid. You're fine. All right, what'd you learn? Anything? Not much. Typical. Should we, uh, should, should we keep, still keep eyes on him? Any, any... I would. He's got an attitude. All right, all right. Can you get someone to come down here and reset this trap? Uh, I don't want to lose it. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he looks at, looks at looks at the sprung trap. Looks at you. Looks back I'm just gonna stand. I'm gonna stand behind Pharaoh. Just be like, don't. don't. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. It's it's fine. Fine. Well, isn't it sprung, Sergeant? <laughs> 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 I'll just step right over it like, and I'm like, right, stop. Right. <laughs> so oh, as a freaking cucumber. <laughs> All right, so uh, you head back upstairs. As you head back upstairs, uh, you almost immediately run into Imdra. What? The Durgar, is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. What did you... Did you talk to him? She did. What did he say? Uh, more nonsense about the sunblight. He, right. said this, he said the stone has something to do with it. That the stone... The one from the statue? Yes, and from their weapons. All right. It's called Shardolin. Shardolin? Yes. He didn't. He wouldn't tell me where it comes from, but said that it has power that will make the sunblight burn the ten towns to the ground. Oh, God. So oh, and I shot an arrow at him. You might want your guards to retrieve that unless you want him, uh, you know, weaponizing it. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. I... That entire sentence was loaded. So, um, yes, I will speak to the sergeant. Is there going to be an attack? There still might be. Potentially? Uh, potentially? Yeah, I know. It, it's unsure. Oh, no, we don't no, like I, it either, but... I know, I know, I know. Uh, okay, so we have to get the get rid of the stone? Uh, uh, are, are, are the Durgar still coming for him? He, ever, he seems to think so. He just keeps giggling in that Durgar weird giggly way. All right, all right, all right. I'll, uh, okay. It could just be meant as a distraction. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'll, uh, I'll talk to the sergeant, make sure they get that arrow out of there, and um, uh, talk to your uh, wizard friend. He seemed to be very upset. Uh, the... Uh, the, the speaker does have a, a winged snake that she uses as a messenger, and it has the ability to come... It flies through the windows. I mean, the, the, you see the windows in this place. They're not exactly sealed. Um, so he feared that perhaps a familiar or some other creature was able to uh, come in, but the, the creature itself would have to either morph or some like change shape i don't know how we've that works you've been attacked by people who can travel through your walls who are invisible and right. understandably he's concerned that you're just letting magical things flit in and out of the building unscared well the, the, the snake isn't magical it's a snake it's just got wings i don't know like, like a bird but it's a snake Snakes don't have arms. They can't open windows on their own. Feel free means... to check out the snake. It's in the office if you wish. But uh, uh, outside of the office itself, that's the only way for the snakes to get in or out. Like It's not like they have access to the rest of the building. Oh, so there's only one open entryway to the building that can be accessed. So it's fine. In terms of a messenger creature, there is a way for them to get in through the... Uh, 
to the to the speaker's office, yes, but I don't see how that could be a concern. Look, 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 I, I think we have today to try to figure some things out and then maybe do we stake out the speaker's house? Do, yeah, um, Isn't that what you did last night? I did, and nothing happened. So do we think that we, are they just biding time? Why, like, why aren't they attacking? I don't know. Check out the snake if you wish. I'm gonna go talk to the sergeant. And she brushed past you. Sergeant! Captain! And then, so if you wish to make your way back up. Yeah. Did the speaker here? Did they come? Did the speaker come in with her this morning? No, the speaker is not here. Okay. Um, is that I don't. unusual? Has anyone well not mentioned if been... that the speaker is not here? Who's watching the speaker? If Indra came here, that's true. Interesting questions. Let's go. Let's talk. Let's go talk to Xander about about the snake thing first. Yes, let's. Yes, I'm not. I'm not with you. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm already there. You come find me. <laughs> <laughs> so where is he? Which room is he in? Is the, the one with the one with my token in it? Yeah. So Xander's in the administration room, which is in the front here. I'm going to ping it. Uh, as he, as Flynn starts to move that, uh, moves there. Fariel, are you going there as well? Yeah. All right, lovely. Uh, as he does that, you hear a commotion from the north gate. And sure enough, boom, oh, damn it, Dax, why aren't, why aren't you facing the door? Why is your butt facing it? Oh, it? Sure enough, that's the voice of Prudence as she comes in and goes right into her office. Has anyone seen Imdra? As her escort sort of follows her in, and I see Herrick, Zelvana, and weirdly yeah. enough, uh, Imdra. Another, another Imdra? <laughs> Imdra is down here talking to the guy. There we go. All right. She's a doppelganger. Oh, God! <laughs> You're right. <laughs> he comes in, sees Herrick, Zelvana, and the professor still in the office. Moaning. Zelvana's playing with the snake. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald! Oh, thank goodness! I was so worried when she didn't come back. Uh, may I see her? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. He's so cute, though. Uh, she is. Um, and then it... It's so the snake sort of wraps itself around her arm and, like, sort of just tries to, like... It starts to, like, coil itself around her fingers. It's very, clearly very fond of Prudence. Mm. Uh, um. Professor Herrick... Uh, Zolvana, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna go find Xander and the rest of everybody else so that we can, like, get a room by ourselves and figure out what our next move is. Get a room. Say, right. How did you sleep? Uh, slept very well with Imdra watching over me. She is a... Kind of, kind of creepy. She's a, very, <laughs> she's a very good friend. Hmm. That's nice. It Very is. good. I'm going to sit myself. So, in the uh, is everyone all right? Is is everyone okay? We had a a fun morning. Did you actually get a message from Emerald? Oh, I uh, I didn't even bother to check. Uh, and sure enough, she uh, so there was uh, she sort of checking him or uh, checking her. Uh, she looks to think. Oh, no, doesn't look like like I got one. So, where do they go? Do they just go out and then come back in? Oh, I do, had, do they I, always have a purpose? I had actually uh, sent this one uh, to Kier Koenig, uh, speaking about the cauldron. Uh, to, uh, I had confessed that I was looking for the, um, uh, to gather the money, the funds to pay you. Thankfully, uh, looks like uh, we'll have enough to, oh goodness, Emerald, calm yourself. Is, is, um, that, is that your bird on your mic stand? No, it is not a bird on my mic stand. <laughs> um, uh, but it looks like we'll be able to uh, to get the funds together for you, so you will have your payment today, uh, and hopefully everyone's all right. I completely forgot about that. Goodish, you know. 
Well, good ish is better than bad. Or yeah. ish. Um, uh, have you seen the captain? Yes. She. Did she go down the dungeon? She went down to the dungeon, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she went down to the dungeon. Oh. I'll, uh, uh, if, if you see her, t- tell her I, I wish to speak to her. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Uh, any, anything else I can help you with? No, we're just going to go find the rest of our party. I'll get away oh. here. I'll sit in the corner. Oh. Um. Well, I'm going to go find the rest of our party. <laughs> oh, all right. And then she had awkward silence kind of passes as she sort of stares at her. He's just smiling like really creepy. Oh, by the but way, no. I knocked the shit out of your statue. <laughs> what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop back in. <laughs> I'm going to pop back in and be like, uh, if you order some coffee, make sure you give Herrick some. He's been wanting coffee all morning. Oh, oh good. Of course. Um, and she'll, she has, there's a guard sort of standing in the corner. She's like, would, would you go ahead and get uh, Herrick some coffee? Strong. Car kind of looks at Herrick, looks at the keeper, the seeker, uh, 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 and uh, sure enough, shuffles off to go get some coffee. All right. So, friends, uh, Zalbana, Flynn, uh, and Feriel, uh, the oh, Professor and Xander. So, as a, as the two of you, sit down and have a chat. Yeah, I, I guess I thought well, the folks were coming in, but. I can I can start my gripe session with him. Oh no, that's that's delightful. Nothing like yep. two curmudgeons getting all curmudgeony. Huh? Curmudgeons, curmudgeons. <laughs> I can totally make my way over there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm headed that way. Yeah, too. no, I'm gonna to... dig it. So uh, let's say the party reconvenes in the administration room. Yes. Yeah. Right. Love it. Uh, Herrick, the guard, returns with your coffee, and uh, passes Thank along you. to you that uh, looks like. The rest of your group is in the administration room. He says, carry on. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Never split the party unless you can make their town ruler really nervous. <laughs> she, just, she just keeps like doing that thing where she like knocks like papers against her desk. Just, How's your shoulder? <clears throat> it's... Oh, sorry, I'm just making small talk. No, it's, it's fine. Are you... Uh, um... I mean, it's still hurts, but it's fine. Well, at least you're not dead. <laughs> That's good. No, not dead. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this, this is more fun than watching Ryan talk as Tempest to so <laughs> Coffee's good. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you wouldn't like to uh, just meet with your party? Uh, I have, oh, I've work to do. Um, if you, um, you just seem you seem busy. Everyone seems so busy. Oh, do I? Oh. Yeah. Shouldn't you just be oh. elsewhere? Last time you were in here, you nearly died. Fair point. Fair point. Um, that's why. I have my guard over here. He'll uh, he'll protect me. Coffee's, Won't you, Micah? Coffee's good. My name's mm-hmm. Jack. Thank you, Jack. Sorry. Mm. Coffee is good. Coffee is great. <laughs> you drink coffee, okay, though. in the <laughs> <laughs> This is so, amazing. Uh, so good. So good. <laughs> So as the party reconvenes in the room that I am in, I, I'm i not fuming, but I'm visibly just kind of pissed and, and just over this this whole place. Like she, yep. she, she asks us, she expects us to guard and doesn't tell us all the ins and outs, doesn't tell us about an upstairs door, double door that's always unlocked because her penny any soldiers can't keep the damn thing locked. And she's going to flex at us on some shit. We need to get paid and we need to go to the white trout and see what the professor wants. Zilvana want to see there. And then we should get the hell out of this place. Uh, I'm not even certain we should head to the wet trout, considering we might be grossly overmatched. Uh, the only thing was the attackers last night seemed to flee in that direction. 
Mm. So that Does might be the, you... that might be the only lead that we have. So... Not that long ago, you were arguing that we absolutely had to go to the wet trout. And Zalvana went by herself. There's nothing else that can be learned there. We we know it's a a, a den of cultic demigod worshippers. Sounds a bit extreme. It was. Good time. Um, so does anyone have uh, eyesight on when we're going to get paid for this gig so we can move on and get find, someone else, find someone think... else to end up hating ultimately? Yeah, the speaker... this, this town is no longer our problem. The speaker just said that she uh, just got our money. Um, at, at least that's, I think, the news that Emerald brought or was going to bring back. Oh, yes, the, the magic flying snake that can come and go at will and deliver messages to people. Yeah, that. Fly around the whole Super of town hall. What message did it bring? She said that it didn't bring a message. Then why would it return? I asked her the same question. And how would she know that we were getting paid if it had no message? She said she sent it to Karakonic about payment and then said that there wasn't a message that came back with it. Wait, 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 wait. She sent it to Karakonic and that's where you said that the... There's a bunch of vandals hanging out there. Speaker, yeah. The speaker needs help with vandals there. That is, that is correct, yes. So maybe that's why it came back without a message. Possibly. I'm not one for meta DMing, but my guess is that's our next stop. Though I do know that we have to go through another town to get there. Unless we want to cross the lake. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. I've my fair share of that lake. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm, I'm just now dry. Yeah. Um, I agree to, with you. But to get to Kirkonig, we have to go through Kirdenaval. Correct. Uh, yay. Do we DM? Do we know how long it will take to get first to Kerdenaval and then up to Kirkonig? So uh, travel along the east side of Ten Towns is ultimately a little bit faster uh, mm -hmm. than uh, the, the the travel to the rest of the world uh, to Kerdenaval. It is uh, like a nine-hour schlep to get up to there, but then uh, Kerkonig past Kerdenaval is only two hours. So basically. Care Dinaval, Care Koenig are like to get to Care Dinaval, it's going to be, you know, a, a good day of traveling. Mm -hmm. There's uh, also some strange events that's been happening around Care Dinaval as well. Um, isn't that where the speaker's missing? Okay, that won't look in my notes if the DM says yes. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it's like if you guys want to check your notes, but that that certainly does ring a bell. That's yeah, a, my notes yes. says speaker hasn't been seen in a while. Yes, and there's there's strange figures in the area of Cardinaval also. Yeah. Hmm. Always after the speakers, huh? Yeah. That's um, yeah. Doesn't pay to be in charge, I guess. Running I guess. theme. It's the cult attempting to gain power in the area. Hmm. Well. Professor, uh, professor, 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 that's the least ridiculous thing you've said all day. I, there is clearly an, an organized attempt to under, to, uh, to overthrow the Ten Towns going on. Yes. And hmm. that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we'll leave it for tonight. <laughs> Thank you so very much for joining us for this session of Cold Hard Witch as the party struggles to figure out just where it, the danger is in the uh, in, in the land of the Icewind Dale. Uh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Uh, it, we, yes. We will see you all next week at Saturday on Saturday at 7 p.m. for the next round of Cold Hard Witch. Yes.